It was. I, no, I was hating on them. <laughs> like, and it was a lot of them in that video, too. I remember that. He was in there. Yeah. You want to have a talk about them one day? <laughs> one, one day. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get this shit started. No, 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 Microphone check, one, two, what is this? Welcome to episode 257, right? Eight. Eight. Oh, my God. Slipping. Oh, my God. <laughs> you wasn't on 258 in White Plains. Nah, Joe wasn't. <laughs> More. <laughs> <laughs> I think the dance floor cleared in speed for me when that came on. Yeah? Yeah. You might have been on speed. Because I was. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I used to take the train to speed at the time. So oh, you was a different Me and my boy, we was riding the train. Yeah. I saw you. You saw Ma? Ooh, no. No. <laughs> no, the girl. Uh, what is that next part? I never knew that part. He, was, he named every nigga she was with. She was trifling. <laughs> and Bobby and Damn. Mike. Are those the type of guys that you like? <laughs> Yo, listen to that salty ass. <laughs> oh, so, oh, so Wait, that's the ones? You was with who? Ronnie and Bobby Not, and Mike. Is that, you that's what you said, right? Ronnie and Bobby and Mike. I don't know what names you said. I know the type of guy. That, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, oh man! Type of guy. Obviously, nigga, she that? with them. Oh, yeah. oh man, don't do that because we about to talk about all of that. This is our breakup episode. Okay. And it's fucked up because y'all gonna think I'm, I'm talking about me and I'm not. <laughs> See, that's why it's fucked up. That's going why we fucked up. Okay. Yeah, that's why it's fucked up. That's it is. Why. Uh, welcome to episode 258 of the Joe Button Podcast. I'm your humble, grateful, and gracious host, Joe Button, here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends. Uh, Maul is here, aka Rashid Sunflower. My mm. guy Parks is here, just touched down. That's right. <laughs> just, just touched down. JF, Fresh. Fresh. hey, John F. Never the LaGuardia, right? That's right. That's right. Mm, just touched. Uh-huh. Yeah. Ain't even unpacked the Levi's yet. That's, That's right. right. That's right. <laughs> Levi's on, Levi's off. <laughs> just, just came back from mixing something down. You know what I mean? <laughs> Sitting on a plane for six hours in Levi's is fucking I gross. I do not wear Levi's. In the plane. I don't understand yeah. him. That's no, nasty. I don't do that. No, no, <laughs> no, no. He wear them fucking gray ass black uh, basketball shorts. That <laughs> oh yeah, and I black. forgot. To bring that up, that you, Parks is nasty for wearing shorts on a stop plane. Doing that. Why? I don't want to see your legs but, next to me. I, like, I, oh, you're lucky. You get to see his legs. <laughs> but, I be sitting down, and he fucking is six six and walks by and stands in front of me. I'm a dog. <laughs> My nigga. <laughs> this, Keep this is about to go a different way. <laughs> Keep it moving. Yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't want to yeah, see you no. in that way. Never want to see shorts, shorts on a jeans. plan. Man. No, you can't travel in jeans though. Absolutely. No, like, when sick. I see certain dudes tra- on a flight with jeans, I'm like, he must be the marshal. <laughs> <laughs> He's got only, it tucked. <laughs> yeah, only the nigga that's gonna save the flight if it get hijacked is wearing jeans on a plane. <laughs> yeah. Or oh. maybe he had like the fresh off. He had the move right from the airport. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. Yo, you're so stupid. I-, I be hoping that that guy is on the plane sometimes. Oh no, they on every plane. Yeah, they on there. I believe that every flight. They are not on every flight. Yeah, pretty they much. Are. Every flight. Pretty mm-hmm. much. I never knew that. I never knew that. Yeah, pretty much. I think Any I flight that's like over an hour and a half, 100%. Yeah. All right, so that changes <laughs> that, things. That, that does change things. So not every flight. No, but if you're crossing country, definitely. And if you're crossing, I think, <laughs> seas, I think definitely. I'll be picturing you, but what if the nigga that's supposed to say the plane, get up during the hijack, like, hey, stop it, and get his ass washed in the first two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and you got to get into your <laughs> shit. Now they got his, now they got his gun. Yeah. Wait, wait now I, I, I gotta say yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 everyone tiger. in the aisle. You gotta yeah. play out of tiger on your AirPods and just start fighting every, every that, nigga that's, that's, that's your job if you got the aisle seat. Yeah. Because the window guy can't do nothing. Can't, exactly. I can't say excuse me to go whip somebody's ass. Like, <laughs> Pardon, you got me, the save the plane. <laughs> Pardon me. They're trying to hijack. I have to save the situation. They, they gotta lift their tray up, take the shit yeah, off their lap, yeah, move nah, the old man. lady out the way. Yeah, nah. If you got the aisle, you save the flight. <laughs> Yeah. Put that on, nigga. You gotta say the. That's fuck. gonna work. I'm gonna put that in my phone, Ma, just in case. Watch out! I'm gonna get something out the overhead. <laughs> <laughs> Joe like type nigga. They start hijacking. He gonna do this. <laughs> like, you Joe, to everyone like, yeah, Joe, we doing? never practiced this, man. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> that means breach. That means breach. <laughs> <laughs> Throat. Joe, Joe, we're on a plane. <laughs> if you breach the door, we die. <laughs> Wait, how many of you came to get it on? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 
<laughs> oh, the, the Joe Budden horror movie with that voiceover. Maul, throw your Jesus chain at three o'clock. <laughs> I will tackle his knees. <laughs> Listen to my plan. <laughs> it's not I will work. tackle his. No, nah, I'm gonna sacrifice myself for y'all. It's not gonna. So work. y'all can land nah, safely. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. That's what's gonna happen. That ain't yeah. Cool. What, happens if, take, what uh, happens if they take the pilots out first? Who's landing the plane? Uh, Rory, don't you think I answer honestly when they ask me all the exit row questions? What does <laughs> 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 have they, they AirPods in, Word. half sleep? Like, yeah, yeah, I yeah. fell asleep one time. She woke Maybe me up. Maybe giving like the official, like if there's a happens to be an emergency, you are fit to do this. Yo. Yeah. Yeah, I've been reading the manual the whole time. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I be wanting to say, fam, I don't even know how to open this door. I don't even know how to open a door. And if I do open it, bitch, guess who's going first? <laughs> you guessed it. Big pump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, okay. I want to shout out to our Spotify listenership, <laughs> our YouTube viewership. I want to shout out anybody who may or may not be listening to this podcast for the first time. I want to shout out to the people that have been listening since way, way back in the days when I was young. I'm not a kid anymore, but some days I sit, oh, I'm telling you all this good, man. <laughs> <laughs> man, you, you can just rap whenever you want. Bro. Yeah, it works. <laughs> like it's oozing, like you like, oh, I'm fighting it. No, just go rap. Yeah, it's cool. Hey. <laughs> no, no, because I got to think of some more riddles. Hope can't be the only nigga to riddle. He always it's a riddle. Yeah. <laughs> Hope keep a riddle. <laughs> Yo, so, so the other day I was with somebody who uh, every time it was like 2.22 p.m. or like 1.11 p.m. they would stop and say, oh, my God, everyone stop. The whole world is aligned right now. <laughs> right? I don't, I, How long were you with this person like that? So she kept saying that. I was like. Of course it was that a she. Damn Jay. The riddles again. <laughs> it's four, four, four. He's on the with the wild <laughs> over your head. Yeah, yeah. You don't don't double entendre. They're sick of you. They're getting you out of here. Not the fours, me. Uh, so what the fuck was I saying? Shouting out everybody. Shout out to everybody, man. Shout out to exit row seaters. Let's have you, have you ever been serious. in the middle seat of the exit row and they ask, are you fit? And then you ask, well, where's the other seat if I wasn't fit? Just in case it was an aisle or a window. <laughs> Yo, the fat, <laughs> nigga, the, the fat nigga that takes the middle seat don't give a fuck about At you. At all. Your elbows. No. Doesn't yeah. give a fuck about your elbows. No. Yeah. Or his fucking... Oh, man, I'll give you a story. Well, first, what do you talk about, Easy e We was in coach this whole tour. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Um, when have you ever had to share the armrest with your elbow? See, and I don't like... Those narratives that you push <laughs> in that in that uh, depiction, Easy was the only one who could afford steak. <laughs> yeah, we was eating fat burger. He no. was eating a steak in first you, class. You Easy niggas only. One. You niggas have first class money. Cause I'm counting it. I see. I see who at the shows. I'm there. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing math like my mom does. <laughs> my mom come to the show and start adding shit up. <laughs> All right, I'm in meeting greet shows, <laughs> y'all. Uh, so shout out to everybody. Uh, I couldn't wait to come in here and pop. We got a lot to get to. Finally, a lot of music came out. That be trash though when people that know shows and like have been around it for a while start going. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Don't. Hmm. <laughs> Like hmm. no, it's okay. Still sobs. <laughs> Yo, so what venue y'all did in uh don't, in Atlanta? Yep, I hmm. don't know. Okay, I don't remember dogs. <laughs> My name is Bennett. Um, uh, finally we get hot weather New York. Finally we get uh a lot of new music, like good music whole, too. Oh man, oh yeah. oh man, because we've got a lot of music before, but it wasn't a lot of good music this year. Some really good music came out yeah, the last today. Few days. Today's been one of my favorite Fridays. <laughs> yeah, of those Fridays. Yeah. Um, why? Because of music. The quality of music. Yeah. Of course, there's always the Fridays where you get bombarded with a bunch of shit. But I've liked everything that I've heard and been able to digest today. Same. Like there has been some shit where I was like, ah, let me skip past this. The mustard shit surprised Don't. the fuck out of me. Not to take away from mustard, just sometimes he makes music that is not for me I specifically. I didn't catch mustard shit. Nah, his last, uh, well, I don't know if it's his last, but the mixtape, or no, I think it was whatever you call his compilation that he put out right after um, YG's first album was really dope too. So I'm not surprised. No, that mustard shit is an album. Yeah, he puts that, together That's a not project. a bunch of mustard, let me get Migos on every record or let me get my typical formula. He made an album. Yeah, a very There's good album There's B-sides too. on there that I love. Like, that's a fucking album yeah yeah he, a very good album too yeah he makes good albums that on god record is hard <laughs> that, that shit with yg must i think first that fucking yeah. uh the shit from uh 
whatever in the face to Interstate 10, that little transition, that was my favorite part of the whole album. Mm. It's a really good album. Before you get into the rest of this, uh, I want to ask y'all, is there a specific reason why you were able to digest so much music this this particular week? <clears throat> I had a uh, six-hour flight. Yeah, that always helps. Yeah. Um, I was just home. Because it, is that, I was wondering that on the way here, is that a normal practice? Because I heard a lot of music as well. I saw Rory tweeting about it, so I know. And, you know, we talked about it. Right. I just, I tried to make it a point to listen to all of the music. Me too. Like, this was the first week in a long time where I said, I'm going to listen to, try to listen to everything that comes out. I try to listen to everything, but I don't usually have enough time to listen to it more than once or just like a quick breeze through. You know? Yeah. And then, too, I like Chris Brown a lot and I like Mustard. Right. So well, I, like I, I left, made it a point to listen to that. I left shit. Chris Brown last. I went with Mustard first just because I, I thought, and I was mistaken, and I can admit I was wrong. I was like, let me get the Mustard shit out the way because we have a podcast. So mm-hmm. let's listen to everything. And I love Mustard, but I like Mustard when he gets in My Crazy Life album mode. Mm-hmm. And then his singles here and there. Yeah. I wasn't expecting the <clears> album. <throat> I sat with that, and I was like, shit, I shouldn't have picked this one first. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to breeze through the shit, and I can't. Yeah, so. yeah you give me hype. <laughs> it's really <laughs> dope. No, it's fire. Yeah. It's really good. I started with Bad Bunny and Jay Belvin. That ah, I yeah, yeah. Interest, I interesting choice. I would have yeah. started there. It's really dope. Yeah. It's really dope. Yeah. At least like there's like four bangers. The first couple are like a little too reggaeton for me, but mm-hmm. uh, it's good. Um. No, nah, I can see you in your reggaeton bag <laughs> on, on Friday. Don't try to... now. Do I need to be in the hookah spot or can I? No, nah, you can. You can vibe with it. Wait, did you, hold, did I... y'all listen to Bad Bunny's album that came out like but, around Christmas time? But before we answer you, let's address Parks High for a second. <laughs> I know that you got, there's a secret side to Parks that you guys don't necessarily know about, and it is his reggaeton thon side. <laughs> like, I think y'all champion him for his knowledge of hip-hop and mixing things and knobs and shit, right? Yes, but... But boss. he's a naughty boy Parks, when that, Parks when that reggaeton likes a, comes on. <laughs> Parks likes <laughs> a, <laughs> a naughty boy. He likes a couple shots of the Brugal, and it's... it's oh, oh, right. so <laughs> Yo, <laughs> when the Brugal, Brugal is in your system... <laughs> Ain't no, not telling. Ain't no telling. I can't what? let y'all say Brugal yeah. like that. Like, no, I'm, uh, come on, I spend way too much time uptown. Y'all can't say Brugal. Brugal. Yeah, don't do that. Please don't. All right, well, no, inform Joe and I because we're white. Brugal. He's white. He got it first time. Look. When the Brugal in your system, you're going to start sweating. Profusely. Ain't no telling. Will Parks no, they know when you have the, 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 the Brugal in your when you get a second, <laughs> when the when the broogie is in you, the broogie, <laughs> son. When the broogie is in you, you are gonna start sweating places you ain't even well, know you can sweat. Fact. What is that? Tell me. Tell me. In it's rum. It's rum. It's Dominican rum. Yeah, Dominican rum. Yeah. You sick? You, you, how you feeling under the weather? Um, no, I feel great. Okay, well, that's even say. better. I've had some hey, wild nights some. in Patterson. No, no, I'm with that shit. <laughs> no, thanks. No, you like the brugal. That shit is in Patterson. That's all they drink. Yeah, that shit is sponsored Damn. by Patterson. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Fam, that shit cures everything. I love that shit. Damn. So Parks, you get shot, pour some brugal. Parks, Parks, he don't even do the Budweisers no more. Mm, classic. Wow. Yeah. Nah, he know what he know what to drink wow. where. Yeah, like fact, Parks, Parks knows what to drink depending on where he's at. That's like no, he don't. Soon as he, used to soon be as he hit up town during the Mood Music Show, fucking the setup. <laughs> so that was, he knows where to drink and where. But, now, but, thank I, God that wasn't I, the Brugio. Like at Parks, we're on stage. In his, in his defense, I would be drunk as fuck at the Mood Music Show. Too. <laughs> thank you, bro. Smoking cigs on stage. <laughs> yeah, I actually think he was in that mood. Yeah, <laughs> word. That <laughs> Parks got. That Parks got drunk as so much. <laughs> Oh, Park started wait, playing. Wait, hey, I, I no, don't do that because I want to kill Park in summer jam. <laughs> Park started playing. I'm telling you, this shit wasn't playing. I look back at Park's Park was like, <laughs> like, like, like at summer like, jam. Like, I Man, on what stage you want from, like they had SOPs. Yeah. What you want from me? He was like, I don't know how they play this shit. I'm like, <laughs> you, yeah. you gotta play the record. <laughs> Wait, no, the funny shit about that is I think Sloan Alice was on tour. So he knew some of them cues. Man. No, Summer Jam. But Parks was saying the way they, they like the wiring, he was like, yo, the like system was. the channel reverse or some shit. Yeah, he was like, yo, the shit is. I looked at him talking. Parks was like. fucking nigga from cool, the projects. They had the channel reversed. <laughs> the fuck? I don't know what that means, nigga. I just rapped four That means when the crossfaders on why, the wrong why side. Why is Hammer Dance not starting? <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm crying that 75 DJs Parks before and after it wasn't reversed. Bid. Parks was like, man, I don't well, no, know. Well, no, because each DJ their own way. You so. know how bad that I think had they just plugged in at this You know how drunk nah. parks had to be if I'm all up there mollied up and I'm turning around looking at hey. <laughs> <laughs> Tank had the mic was trying to come out and sing. He was like, uh. <laughs> he was trying to double dutch it. Yeah, like, uh, I don't know if this is the one. I don't know Wait, what Tank parks was doing. Yeah. 
Yeah, look, uh, look, look, look. <laughs> you don't remember. I don't Joe, remember. Joe killing the surprise guests at Summer Jam. <laughs> we don't even remember Pate coming out. Yeah, he came out. Man. That shit was hilarious. I said, Parks, you was back there. Yo, I love Tank, by the way, but that's such a Joe button. Yo, I'm going a, I'm to a give him the Tank surprise at Summer Jam. <laughs> Joe just want to hear the type of shit he want to listen to, like Word. his favorite artist. Like, yeah, let's take him out and get on. Niggas was sitting there like, yo, yo who is that? What time these niggas <laughs> off? <laughs> yo, I got this record with Wayne and Fab. Yeah, nah, nah, they not ready for tank. Wayne and Fab. Nah, bring, tank. bring Tank out. <laughs> and shout to Tank, Summer great guy. No, I love absolutely. Tank. Great it's just Summer Wayne. Jam. <laughs> Not shelf the tank either. I love tanks. I mean, no, we all guy. love tanks. Oh, that's, yeah, yeah, one way, hold up, man. Somebody say, so talk, just talk. No, we all love tank. But the, the Summer Jam surprise, like when you're trying to get in your pre production mode, talking, everyone hit up, yo, I got this set, Summer Jam. I'm on the bill, the main stage. Do you go with tank? I think I'm going to give him some tank. <laughs> These niggas acting like Tank didn't smoke his uh, feature on the Chris Brown album. Of course, Tank smokes everything. Tank can sing his ass off. Acting like Tank didn't smoke the fucking uh, Dirty remix. Absolutely. Acting like Tank didn't smoke Dirty. Acting like Tank didn't smoke his last two albums. Come on, and man. he smoked the Don't performance at Summer Jam, but it's just that yeah, it's, it's like, Tank. <laughs> it's it's Tank at Summer Jam. Y'all sound like you won. No, but I'm just saying it's Tank <laughs> okay. at Summer Jam. Ooh, in Summer Jam, label, man. In Summer Jam, Ooh. I would look to E1 to be like, "Yo, what should I do?" Yeah. I don't know if you, it's I don't Summer know if Jam wants to ask, but you know, carry on. He was on my single. Listen, you, wait, I, I love wait, the record. Yo, do y'all know how much of a point I try to make it to never come on th- th- this podcast and talk about my music career? Well, and it, somehow it keeps sneaking in. Well, because <laughs> you're on the talking podcast. about Park's DJing career. <laughs> yeah, so naturally. And naturally he was DJing for you, so. It takes a <clears throat> lot of pre-production from me to get the jokes on one of y'all. Keep it. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't you come and derail some no, shit. No, it wasn't, but then, it wasn't. And then pick your phone up. It again. wasn't It wasn't to you, though. Like, the joke wasn't on you. I was trying to talk about the, the, I was about the mustard out. I was talking about parts. I was. I laughed at parts. Yo, Rory, you been riding, man. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, no, I, I laughed at parts. I was laughing at parts. Yeah, yeah, no, I was Rory. after him getting drunk, not knowing to turn the record on, not knowing to drop. Like that's what I was nah, laughing at. Man, it Rory, wasn't about you. Rory might be in the forty ninety fifty club, man. Forty ninety fifty. <laughs> you don't think so? Let, let, let's see. <laughs> Game just started. Oh, uh, okay, got it. Oh, okay. Let's see. Now who starts, who finishes? That, mm. See, see your on, shit man. is you, you here. This is a regular season game. I was going to sit this one out. Oh, low, low management. Uh, low, <laughs> load management for Roar. <laughs> it's a long season, man. Load management. Can't give him double digits every game. It's true. It's true, Roar. Yeah. Come on, tell us more about Mustard. Uh, I don't know why it sounded funny to me. It did. Uh, he has Nipsey on there for the outro. What else yeah. do white people put mustard in? I'm not a mustard person. Potato salad. Either. Huh? I said white people. <laughs> Potato salad. Nope. I hope we don't. <laughs> I really, I don't know if that's a thing. I, don't I know, hope man. we don't. I'm just throwing shots. I don't know. Should I put mustard in potatoes out? Uh, oh, uh, God. Why would you do? I'm just content. Look, oh, look, 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 content. Look, look, Why would look, you do look. such a the thing? King. Republican. And Joe, Joe is Republican yeah, and he's white. Yeah, right there. That's true. One day I'm going to find out Joe is white too. Back, back. <laughs> that was a long, a lot of episodes ago. We did that by ancestry.com. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You really are white. And I'm not sure. I meant like metaphorically. I'm not sure that you can laugh at that, Rory. No, I'm I'm white. It's not. Ooh. Things that we're hiding. I made it awkward now. <laughs> <laughs> White people put apples in their potato salad. That's the fact. Yeah, that's true. They that's put true. apples well, in a lot of shit. Just, I mean, that's just nutrients, Ma. They put a lot of raisins <laughs> in things. Ma, you know a lot about nutrients, right? <laughs> no. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, that was weird. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. What, that means. what was that inside? Listen, you? Content, let it go. <laughs> <laughs> just let it go, fellas. Don't worry about it. All right, back to Muffy's album. Anyways, yes. Uh, great album. Has Nipsey at the end. Get that was really touching. <laughs> Because somebody definitely yelled that at home. <laughs> Get off his dick. Yeah, God damn it. That wasn't really Joe saying it. You, was... asked, you asked somebody else, all right, so what you thought? Get off his dick. <laughs> For real, I'm bro. definitely going to start saying shit I think people say when they listen while niggas yeah. are talking. Me too. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Oh, was Hove on the album? <laughs> somebody definitely said that. Well, uh, how, how come there wasn't a Drake feature, guys? <laughs> all right, so you really appreciate the sync- sequencing? Of course, yes. It's very cohesive. Uh, sonically? Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, sonically. <laughs> Did you like the artwork? Remember when niggas found that word? Yeah, yeah. sonically. Sonically, it yeah. was yeah. over like, after that. Parks, you took, you killed that. <laughs> <laughs> Parks is That's the my first. Bag. It was either Parks or Illmind. <laughs> sonically. <laughs> sonically, That's funny. Anyways, yeah, check it out. It's a good album. Yeah. 
I am going to check it out. But the album of the day. Freddie should we, Gibbs. Should we get yeah. to that? Freddie Gibbs. And Madlib. Uh, let's, let's not leave Madlib out. Absolutely. He was not left out on that album. Not at all. Uh, Madlib showed the fuck up, bro. Uh, Which is not surprising. But what was surprising to me is that he did like some trappy shit. Yeah, but like it was mixed stay, with like sample was, flips well, no that, doubt, that were in their pocket. It was still kind of rugged. <laughs> no doubt. But it's dope to hear someone from that era, you know, be like, nah, fuck it, I'm gonna do this too. First of all, Sosa, bitch, I got soldiers that I put my people First of all, <laughs> you know how obnoxious you have to be to start a record like this? <laughs> 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 Think about that. No, in all right. the sessions that you've done, in yeah. all the sessions that we've done, yeah. in all the sessions that any of y'all have been in, yeah. <laughs> how many of them started a record like this? He was getting his filter bag, all that <laughs> nah, shit. You gotta let him keep going. <laughs> I want, I want to call him. He was spitting, boy. That album was, I was man, very what happy with that. Album. It should only been out for twelve hours, and I listened to it fucking three times. Yeah, it's the one that I've had the most replay value today. Yeah, since I woke up, probably got three listens in on this one. They are bugging. Word. Come on, Freddie. I'm sure he's busy yeah, on his album out. release day. Oh yeah, they did two. They did back to back events when we was in LA. I didn't go to either one. I was mad. I'm the nigga that let it ring anyway, though. <laughs> <laughs> I might leave a message too. Yeah, Gibbs sleep right now. Nah, he ain't Shit. sleep. All right, I'm not leaving a message. He did shows two days in a row. I'm sleeping. Yo, Anderson, Anderson on records is a cheat code. Yeah, it is. That's how I feel, honestly. Yeah. But I like that he put Anderson on a darker record. Oh yeah. So while it's a cheat code, it's it's a really good pocket for Anderson that he doesn't typically do. The production on this is insane. Not this song, this album. Yeah, uh, Mad Lib's been nice, but he went above and beyond with this. Yeah. Uh I have a question for, for you guys. Uh has anybody checked on Pusha T? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, actually. See? <laughs> Somebody should. Is that why he's bugging? So, 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 so nobody can say whether or not he's okay. <laughs> uh, he seems to be uh, okay. Yeah. He's in good spirits. <laughs> yeah. Really good spirits. <laughs> I don't think so. He don't sound well to me. <laughs> he sounds pretty sick. He Does he? He's bugging. Something sounds really wrong with him. I think... <laughs> F- fam... Oh my God, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. It is great to see that Push be looking like on his Insta story. He's in his Ferrari with his wife in Virginia Beach, like For hanging out, family time. Like, look at this really nice guy in such a great space in his life. Like, he's chilling. And then put, then does this. Yeah, and Benny the Butcher. <laughs> and the, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, I'm just going to spaz on the hardest shit. And then just destroy something like he has anything to prove. Right. Oh my God. Uh-oh. Wait, let me just say, let me bring this back. See, this is another prime example of a song I would have never let this go out like this. <laughs> hey, somebody check on Pusha T and make sure that he is okay. We need him. Because <laughs> why did he do this? I want to uh, say too This is an example of an album that's mixed badly But it's good 
Some shit is supposed to be mixed I know bad, you didn't but... let us get the 444 off. This sounds like it was purposely mixed This, this is supposed way. to be like this. Yes. Yeah. It's supposed to sound messy as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I understand. This Mad is Lib ASO, ASR messiness. Nah, he does his shit on a fucking little, like, cheap sampler that really? you can't even do stems on. If he's still using <laughs> it, like, you can't even make stems. It doesn't exist. <laughs> He said, if you, if you like the beat, then take it. It's like that. That's how it goes. You don't need to mix it. I ain't mad at that. Beat, <laughs> when it come out sounding like that. Yeah, no shit. doubt. Why is he doing this next to Freddie Gibbs and um, Killer Mike? Killer Mike, yeah. Or, but that that type of sound, that that is Pusher. Yeah. I know. You know what I mean? Like that. And, and, and Freddie knows. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Freddie yeah. knows. Yeah. Like, I'm talking, and they all kill. Be clear. Yeah. They all kill. But God damn it. I, all right, so I have another question for y'all before I get back to that because he's still killing and I'm not done. Because uh, Freddie put me in uh, my Benny, my the same kind of vibe that Benny put me in almost last 100%. week. 100%. Okay. Which led me to uh, what they're doing here mm. and what Benny 38 Special and Kiss did. Grimy shit mm. back. Who do you take in that three on three? Whew. Well, who? Yeah, give me the three on three again. Freddie Gibbs, Killer Mike, and Pusha T. Well, Killer Mike, are we Benny, talk about this record because Killer Mike kind of just did the hook. No, I'm not talking about this record. Yeah. Okay, yeah. just saying. I'm just three saying on three. in a three man. Okay. You now we doing two on two. I'm, I'm doing like I'm taking Benny and Spech. Benny and Spech Kiss. and Kiss. Yeah, and Kiss. Yeah, Spech went crazy on that track. Push went crazy. But I'm talking on about period. Too. No, he's I'm not he's saying we're not talking about the records because oh, okay. Killer Mike didn't even really get the verse. Yeah, because y'all know y'all know what Killer Mike do. Don't do that. Yeah, yeah. Damn, that's tough. I thought it was tough too. It's actually tough. I thought it was tough too. We are making it seem, but Word. I think I would go with Benny, Kiss, and uh, 38 Special. Yeah, that's my pick. I can't do that. Only because Benny I and Kiss I can't is so... I can't. Yeah. I can't. Benny and is in like a, a weird hunger nice mode now, there. and I think Push, Freddie Gibbs, and Killer Mike are... Well, I want to say that, but then they do something like this, yeah. where they're more chilling. I'm always going to go with... And listen, I'm giving 38 Special and, and Benny some time because I think the potential over there is through the roof. Uh, Kiss is a legend, so we don't even have to talk about him. The, the collective catalogs and history and just of Killer Mike, Freddie Gibbs, and Pusha T, I can't. I feel you. I can't. I feel you. This might be the most important uh, album, I think, in Freddie's career. <coughs> Maybe so. I think this is the one I that agree. more people are going to find. And he him. fucking delivered. Yeah. <laughs> and this is going to be the one where people are like, that was the first time I heard him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people, this is going to be the first yeah, time. Because they probably didn't really hear the first one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sure. And Which was a great point, album. Most at that point, I was having he, a conversation. It was perfect that he dropped because you know artists be scared when they're dropping with a, a whole bunch of music on one day mm -hmm. this shit stood out because of what it was like yeah. with the Chris's the Daniel Caesars the Mustards mm -hmm. like what a, a opposite and juxta of everything that came out so it could shine better mm -hmm. that's yeah. why I think it's so important to him because everyone's like talk about this Freddie Gibbs shit because mm -hmm. it doesn't match anything else that's came yes, out yeah, it's totally haven't right. I asked y'all the question before of what would you prefer as an artist uh, for your project to get the most visibility to drop with a whole bunch of acts or to be the lone act on a drop date. Mm, yeah. uh, I, remind me again of your answers. Uh, I think if your music is this different and this authentic, it stands out. it's going to stand out. Do you think that everybody thinks that their music is that different and authentic? Uh, maybe, but... A some, lot of people think their music yeah, is authentic. But, that's, that's but there's where, someone in their true. corner that that's is realistic. Say, that's yeah. where your team so. and your management whoa, whoa, comes in. Whoa, whoa, hopefully, whoa, hopefully there's somebody parts, in their corner yeah. that... Yeah, we, we know tell a lot of crews fam, that are full of yes men. We yeah. know a lot of crews that niggas are scared to say something because they might lose their job and mm. the ability to feed their family. So yeah, that's true. I ain't gonna say people are just walking around. I think I think we're rather unique in that aspect. Like we talk to each other like shit. But <laughs> other uh, other people, yeah, y'all talk to me like shit, and y'all still get paid. Like other people don't. <laughs> other people lose their jobs. <laughs> yeah. No. So yeah, I'm not rolling with that one. But okay, what were you saying? I cut somebody off. I'm sorry. Uh, no, I. I Kind of to that point that I think Gibbs dropping today was great for him. I thought it was perfect. There was a perfect mix with everything that came out today. Do you think it was great for Mustard as well? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah, today was today kind of covered all genres of hip-hop and R&B to me. Mm -hmm. Like, if you wanted the real crooning R&B, R&B shit with Daniel Caesar, you got that. If you wanted your poppy but more traditional now R&B, you got Chris Brown. Yeah. You wanted some grimy hip-hop, you got Freddie Gibbs. Yeah. You wanted some more mainstream hip-hop, you got Mustard. Like, it really kind of covered everything. Today. Latin trap, That's bad, why this was, there you go. Yeah. Like, 
Yeah. Today was one of my favorite Fridays just because what, what do you diversity. need today? Yeah, <laughs> like, what else fact. do you need today? And, yeah, it was uh, something for everybody. Some rock shit, Black Keys dropped. Black Keys dropped too, which yeah. I heard was phenomenal. Black, I haven't yeah. listened to I listened it yet. to like a couple songs. I got to be in a different vibe too. Yeah. That's a yeah, whole different was, vibe. We was really in our listening to music bag. Dude. Yeah. I was up early. I was. I definitely I tried to make it a point today. to listen to more. I was mad because I was in LA, so the shit didn't drop till midnight over there. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, this is some bullshit. Yeah, but I'm I'm so conflicted in that. But because that does mean that we can listen to a lot of music. And it contradicts what we come in here and and Um, say that we don't really have time to listen to music. Not that we don't have time, but it's just that sometimes you can't really just take all the music in and really like get into the music. Well, I think a lot of times, too, a lot of music today is similar to each other. I mean, I guess that has always been the case, but being that there's so much of it, Mm -hmm. like a lot of shit sounds the same and there's a lot of it. So it's hard to like let something grow on you. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Whereas if something is very different and stands out, you'll you'll give it time. Like I still See, haven't. What y'all, what y'all, I, wait, time out, more. What y'all think I would have done to Parks if he would have said that same sentence in, to me in those basketball shorts in the airport? <laughs> <laughs> like, think about it. Like he just told me you're gonna let something grow on somebody. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Like and don't stand over me. Anyway, go no, I think it has to do with what your day was that day too. Like there's certain shit I probably wouldn't listen to, but if I have free time that day, I might. But if I don't. And I don't get to it that Friday, I'm probably not gonna go back to it. Mm. Like I think it has to do with your free time with these type of Fridays. I get it. I want to shout out to Freddie Gibbs, man. I do. Well, yeah. uh, amazing project and Madlib and Madlib. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm super happy. I'm super happy for both of them. I'm, I'm happy for me. I'm great, happy. great to hear from Most Def. Yeah, that was awesome. Black yeah. Thought. Black Thought's on there too. Word. And that's um, why he reminded me. Not he reminded me, but that's why it brought me back to Benny shit too because. Uh, the features were just perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That plugs uh, the plugs I met is still. I'm just still listening to that every day. Yeah, me too. Nah, but great. this is gonna be heavy in rotation yeah. for yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, even down to like who would just put Killer Mike on a hook and it worked great. Right. <laughs> how did he like? Get, that's a risk. How did he get most F? Where did he find most F? <laughs> most yeah, brother, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's true. <laughs> that's definitely true. Now, nah, Freddie, Freddie's cool with everybody. Yeah, but most stuff ain't easy to find. No. no. I know people that have tried to find most stuff. You can't find them. Oh, and in between the grimy shit, that practice record? Yeah. That sample flip? Yeah. I want to rewind and get back to what Parks just said because we got to redo the industry uh, industry <laughs> rankings. Oh, let's do it. I, I don't know anybody that's looked for most stuff. Oh, okay. So You're not just, making music anymore. So. That knows most stuff? Yeah, Park just threw that out casually. He, oh, you know most. Of? I don't know. I don't know oh. him at all. Yo, I know people that are trying. But I know people are trying are try- to find most deaf. <laughs> yeah. Trust you, me. They can't. Yeah, they can't find him. Yeah. Well, yo, can we redo the industry rankings real quick? Okay. Give it to me. Give me your redone. Your redone rankings. One. I'm one still. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Firm two. <laughs> Rory, two. The, the listeners can't see you pointing more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Joe. Thank you, Rory. <laughs> Me, Parks. Hey, still? Hmm? Rory? Has, uh, it, has anyone's I, changed? Because if, 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 if it's the same, we can just keep going. <laughs> I don't think anybody's just changed. Nah. No, I, st- I still got you, me, Maul, Parks. But Parks, lately, I don't know, he's been teetering. I learn more and more <laughs> teetering. about Teetering. The funny thing is, as much as we, we joke about how much we don't know about Maul and like what he does all day and, and his hip-hop historian lineage of everything Maul has done. That's true. Maul's family, not him. Mo was there. Yeah, yeah. You know, was there. I did a lot. <laughs> Parks be throwing in little comments where I just, oh yeah, I was in that session with Nas. I was like, <laughs> yeah, like <shut laughs> what? <up>. what? <laughs> yeah, I work, man. All right, fine. Enough of the <laughs> rankings. Uh, back well, to what's me. yours? You brought it up. Yeah, but that, that, no, enough of, of me being the lone wolf carrying this shit. No, <laughs> you just don't want to be number one. I think that's the problem. No, yeah, no, we, no. Own I, your shit, man. I think y'all have me number one by default. So it's like that that can't change well, to de- y'all. Default doesn't make it not true. Yeah. <laughs> like defaults be true a lot. All right, what I'm saying is it don't sound like that can ever be changed to you gentlemen. It sounds like I'm a no, firm, it can I'm be a firm it can be lock. No, it can at, be changed, uh, but it Ball, hasn't Ball changed. went to LA and had a Lakers championship ring in his hand. <laughs> He knew the hiding spot. What, one of my, he, <laughs> no, I didn't know the hiding Fam, spot. It's my no. story. <laughs> okay, okay. He went in, no, no, he went no, in no, a, 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 a ex-Lakers house. I found the jewelry box. No, he didn't find I it. I broke it in this shit. It didn't get shot. The, the, the <laughs> ring was hidden. Yeah. I broke remo- it. He removed the top case. Yeah. And, it, and it's like, yo, 
This is all I wanted to see. <laughs> what do you mean that's all you want to see? It's mad over shit in here to look at. <laughs> no, so what are y'all it. talking about? That see, was that, it. I know. I'm, that was it. I, I, I never. Listen, I never saw the ring. Mm. I'm at well, my friend's house. He he won a championship. My friend. Yeah. Nigga, so I'm like, nigga, I want to see the ring. He got a case upstairs with the photo of the whole team. You, I'm like, oh, it's in there? He's like, nah, you know, that shit is in the top. Do you I'm call like, him champ? He took you to the top? No, I'm calling him champ. Huh? He took, he took you to the tuck. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you did. Champ. You wait, 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 stop, because he was saying something funny in that vid. Motivation. T- uh, no, 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 that was the caption. Okay. Uh, well, I'm calling well, him T.A. That's T- what I call him. T.A. T-A. Yeah, it's my nigga Trev. We call him T.A. T.A. Come on. That's family. No, I, no, I don't care Come about the on. TA. I don't care about the TA. We can't shoot him up the list. I care. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. I care about Maul saying that's motivation. Like, all of us have a shot at an NBA ring Word. what am I motivated for <laughs> no I'm, nothing I'm 5'8 and it, fat it, I'm, I'm yeah. motivated no, I'm, I'm, I'm 29 yeah. no, I'm not going to the league it's, it's not about, it's not about what are you motivating me to do this podcast no it's not <laughs> it's <laughs> not about playing what, ball what, what, what you trying to fucking level up nigga? no it wasn't what about you, playing ball you, it was about winning you know what I mean chasing the, chasing the uh, championship uh, and whatever you do and whatever you do, uh, I thought you were trying to motivate uh, us to win you know an I mean? NBA draft championship. Day. You got a really big team, yeah. So y'all need some really, really big, big rings. Right. Uh, draft day was coming. You, you see what I'm? Come on now, uh, see? God. Yeah, like that's what I was doing. Motivation. That's all. We got me. 80 the next day. That's not by. That's not by happenstance. Is that a word, Joe? Happenstance. I know that word. So yeah, not a, yeah oh, happenstance. Good. See, word of the that's day. Good. Word good of the day. Nigga, be reading. Ding, 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 ding. I got some shit up here. Let me get my shit off, Paul. You know what I'm saying? Word of the day. It wasn't by happenstance. Happenstance that we got AD the next day. You know what I'm saying, Parks? You right. get my shit off, man. Happenstance. Happenstance. Yeah. <laughs> ADTA. So that does not. I can't keep up with I didn't call. No, I don't. They call him AD. I didn't give him that. That okay. That's different. And you did go in there and tell me it's the J A D A. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> And, but look how look how Joey set it up. And you did go in there. No, no I did not. <laughs> Stop lying. I did not do that. Never did that. I got that. bitches in the club. Never did that. <laughs> Ma, take it easy. Nobody, don't do. Who said that? Take kiss? it easy. Nobody ever told Ma Nobody to take told it easy. Ma to take it easy. No, that's your phone going off. That's Tia. That's oh, Champ. <laughs> Yo, hey, that's how many Champ. Sisters, how many sisters does Moana have? That's Champ. Jeez, I never that, called. That's I never champ. called. That's, that's hilarious. I never called that nigga <laughs> yes, Champ ever in my life. <laughs> Tia is the same shit. No, yeah. it's not. That's his initial. Teacher's assistant. All right, come on. Our fans in Africa don't care about the fucking league. He's your teacher? <laughs> no, Rory, no. All right, no. so, all right. We, we offer that. What, what's next? What, what's next? What other? Oh. Get into it's, your it's, your time, it's your time to, to shine, Slime. Mm. Yeah, take, take it away. It's on you, oh, I know Joe. you wore that outfit for a reason. <laughs> well, I mm-hmm. did. And you know the reason, but. Yeah. <laughs> Mom, no, I, I wore my freaky shorts. <laughs> I wore my freaky boy shorts. Wearing less than going out more hey, still. Hey, you been, yo, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Anyone that shows the chest and the knees? <laughs> you on a sick mission today, With the sunglasses? boy. Sunglasses? It is, but in, it, it is 90 something degrees. It's very hot outside. It yeah. is hot. Oh, here we go. No, it's Look. bright in here. There's. <laughs> That's mad bright in here. It is bright. It is. No, it is. <laughs> I'm with you. Uh, <sighs> Wait, is that the the lens don't even touch the frame? Why would it? <laughs> Why oh would my it? god! Why would it? Peasant ass frame. <laughs> Why would it? We don't want to. Your touch lenses the frame. touch your frames? <laughs> yeah, nah. <laughs> yeah, bro. Get shit fucking. up if it do. All right. <laughs> all right. It's breakdown time. Can I break down around you guys? Yep. Well, def- all right. Can I be vulnerable? Are you breaking down or are you going to break down the album? No, I'm not breaking down the album. I mean like a real breakdown. Oh, God. Is that where you put the glasses on? Oh, man. Oh, this got Joe, this intro. <laughs> Yo. He's taking us to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Breezy. We're, in, we're <laughs> off the earth. <laughs> mm. Yo, I hope none of y'all forgot your headphones at home, the ear pods. Look to your neighbor to the left, your neighbor to the right. Tell them you love, tell them you love them and you care about them. Oh you can do every song. <laughs> <laughs> you know he is. Is. Long podcast. No, we can come back. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going, some we're some candles, some candles I got shit. some shit I could do. <laughs> Listen, y'all can joke around. One of the reasons that I do appreciate Chris Brown, and this thought led me to, you know. People get what they get from from albums. Like, what what do you need to make you feel like you have gotten your money's worth out of an album? Sometimes for me, if I if I if I could find one or two that is just, that you just gonna bug the fuck out on, and the, and I don't fuck with nothing else on it. Sometimes that's enough for me. 
Mm. I got to play at least four consistently that yeah. I keep going back to. I, well, hold on. Are we talking two out of 30? If there's two that are crazy, no. crazy. What I'm saying is the albums that we're going to listen to, like all of us listen to the, the album, we're going to, we, we expect them to be somewhat, there to be good songs on there. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, yes. Yeah. I mean, there to be one or two that's like some of the best shit you've ever made. Okay, that you like would add to your personal playlist and keep. Yeah, listening. like Kendrick does it every album for me. Every right, time he, he he goes crazy, the next album there's a song that I add to my top five Kendrick songs. Okay, ever. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I, I'm still not happy though if there's just one or two records that even though yeah, they no. may reach your top ten and the rest is I need trash. More good music, and to if, pick if it's from. 14 well, records, I'm not happy. I'm not. It's rare that you get two like top five songs and the rest of the album is trash, trash. Though. That's what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, I agree. It's happened. It's happened, but that's rare. Like trash, <laughs> trash, like unlistenable trash. That's it's pretty happened. rare. Chris Brown, if there were, if there, <laughs> if there were some, if 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 Savon actually did some work, or if or if we had some type of ESPN statistician here <laughs> to make up some fake LeBron like stat for Chris Brown. Okay. He has had one probably on every album <laughs> of his, at least one. Just one. Not what you think. Even on that album of his that I hate, uh, K was on it. Oh, Roy uh, Royalty. Royalty. I Royalty. didn't really like that album, but K was on it. Mm, and I that, like that album. And that's a top 10 Chris record to me. This. Oh, man, man. <laughs> oh, man. Double, yeah. double down on the man. Because you know what it is? And and I would like us to one day, because I'm sure it won't be today, have a drawn out conversation about this. Because later we're gonna get into House of Hot Boy Summer and everybody's breaking up. <laughs> and I relate that back to Chris Brown because Chris Brown and all his songs, all he do, even though he's shitting on the girl, he takes a lot of ownership. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he, he he always, but it's, he makes it seem like you're fucked up for leaving me. Yeah, I don't know how far I'm going with ownership. Uh, ma. Yes. I'm doing a podcast, but hi, and I love you. Oh, shit. I forgot. You, okay? you didn't call me after you. All right, fine. Yeah, I'll call you later. Hey, Ma. All right. Ma, fine. before hey, yeah. b- before you go, t- t- uh, tell us why you like, uh, what's that song, stupid song you like? Don't talk about this song, Joy, because I get offended if you talk about that song. <laughs> wait, wait, what's the song? Who sing it? Which song are you talking? What you? Which song when the, are you when talking the, when about? The wars, when, when the awards, when the wait, hold on, my, I'm trying to tell him my whole life. When the awards went off, she was giving the recaps. She said, "Oh, I'm so happy that the guy won. That the guy wanted to win one little boy, little boy. Oh. I'm so happy, <laughs> little. Baby. No, but that ain't what you said. Baby. That ain't what you said. <laughs> but that's not what you said. I know, I know, I know. But she I'm, said, I'm, I'm older. So. She said, "Little that's, boy you know, won." That. I said, "Baby, <laughs> <laughs> little baby." Yes, little baby. No. Yeah, I love little baby. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right but thanks, my boss. Oh, baby. I said all right, bye. <laughs> Jesus, you know she wants you here on the. That should one. be the little baby drop before the record starts. Yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> love little baby. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Um, where was I? Uh, you were, you were, you were bringing back uh, Chris us landing Brown on keeps, the moon. Yeah. Oh wait, no, he takes onus. Oh, and t- to that's me, two big words, Ma. He, he that was his. Uh, no, I, I, came lot, back, I came back with Didn't it. I hit oh, the okay. round of applause. You that's pluralized it. He said ownership. You said onus. Yeah. Oh. You big, you bigger worded ownership. With yeah. shorter letters. Yeah. Like, yeah, don't even ask me how. Don't ask me how, I Rory. I know how. Because I know Rory. the dick. <laughs> <laughs> I know how. <laughs> yeah. What's that Wu-Tang album, too? You know, yeah. you know more know that verse. onus from deck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get more. That's who was teaching me? Yo. And, all, and I'm only highlighting this. Hey, ladies, don't kill me. I don't know shit about shit. But ladies, in y'all songs, it don't be so much ownership and accountability. It don't be so much <laughs> onus is, is, is what I'm saying. So, <laughs> so it'd be zero. What like, are you I, talking I, I about? Get, I, get real, I get so mad. Why, like, why y'all don't care? You said, you said in their songs or in their life? Both. Well, art reflects life. <laughs> oh, good point, Rory. <laughs> art imitates <laughs> life. Yeah. Uh, the, <laughs> Parks getting these bars off. <laughs> fresh, <laughs> for fresh back. Yeah. L.A. Parks is different. Yeah, L.A. Uh, Parks. They got a little sun. I, th- I think we're finally going to make the move to L.A. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel it. I can feel it. We're not moving to L.A. I can feel it, though, Joe. <laughs> no, 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 you keep feeling it. The last piece of the puzzle. <laughs> the last, last domino to Come fall. on, Parks. <laughs> You guys think we landed on the moon? 
That's a good question. <laughs> Joe asking the wrong shit. You can bring up where your girl once you land on the moon. Oh yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Oh my well, my God. <sighs> after you cut this off, I'm gonna say something about Chris Brown that should be said. What happened? I say after you finish playing this, I'm gonna say something about Chris that should be said. Some of the setup. Yo, when Chris throw a season in there or like a metaphor, <laughs> oh, he keep going round and round. <laughs> ah! Yeah, that's right, Rory. Think about her. <laughs> you know Rory got baggage too, goddamn it. Come on, get to it. <laughs> It ain't just me. <laughs> Savon, what up, nigga? I'm sorry. Look, Savon is crying. Savon, don't cry. <laughs> hey, hey, if you at work, you might as well hit the fridge. This record is staying on. <laughs> I am not cutting this off before a guitar solo. So actually, oh, he's killing this verse. Hold up. Wait, wait. She didn't even say thank you. They never do. Chris, while, while, before the guitars come on. Chris Brown is probably the most underrated superstar ever. 100%. <clears throat> Not mad at that take. Uh, since we're talking about accountability and ownership, do you think a lot of that has to do with him? 100%. Well, it's, it's like things in his personal life, for sure. Uh-oh. Y'all got a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely want to add more guitars to this part. Yeah. <laughs> You know Chris heard all I've lost. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. That was On nice. the highway though, where, where, where we at tonight, Maul? <laughs> Hold up. Where are we at tonight? Now, when Maul get in the car, I feel like I got to play hard shit. We're going to listen to Benny. Nah. We, we can play. <laughs> I love that. It's not until me and Rory is in the car where I can get, in the, get into this bag. Me and you. I mean, I got to be a little tougher. Why is that? Why can't be myself around you, Maul? <laughs> what you mean, nigga? I listen to Chris Brown. <laughs> uh, Yo. He did it again. That's a good record. No. One, hey. one, one of the standouts. For sure on that, that 32 record project. <sighs> He's got to stop doing that. I, I, listen, I, I'm not I have more of an opinion on Wednesday because this was the one that I just gave one straight well, shot through. Don't, you got, you, don't this inter- needs a weekend. Well, don't interrupt Parks because Parks d- does have something to say about it and I would like to hear it. Yeah. Um, mm, um, yes, no. I just can't wait till Chris Brown starts self-editing a little bit more because 32 songs of Chris Brown is just too much Chris Brown to me. So I need you 32 or, songs of anybody Yeah of anybody But yeah. I, need, I need you it's, or someone else To make lot. like a definitive Like a 2.1 <clears throat> Like how they did Blueprint 2.1 And trimmed it down I need Take I need, the best Your favorite I need one ones of those. And make yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, That's true but It's we, a lot to digest To even get into It's two hours <laughs> Like I guess I could try to Pull the ones as I'm listening to it To See, be like alright This is the one This is the one But, but I, we kind of do that I, Anyway I, with playlists now So yeah. I, I understand I understand that gripe uh, From a consumer standpoint Uh my perspective is a little bit different. We, we all understand why he's putting that many songs for sure on Abs- project. Absolutely. So if I have to pick, uh, if I have to pick an extreme, because Justice, uh, our good guy Justice, came in here and tried to sell me on that uh, ninety second, uh, ninety second song all, all over the album shit, and I'm just not rolling with that. And I know why you do it. <laughs> right. We right. know why y'all do that. Right. So if I have to pick one, I want to pick thirty three songs that I can edit. And, choose from. and yeah, yeah. I want to. I want to edit that down to my you favorite. You want to be able to choose some more. Yeah, but Chris Brown. You don't go to the store with less money than you need. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I have. <laughs> well, I have too. 
But yeah, I mean, but even you know, though we try I, not to, yeah, <laughs> you would rather I agree not. with Parks. Yeah. I, I think thirty two is a lot for me to try to consume, but I still I don't want that to be the narrative. Like Chris Brown can do this because Chris Brown is at a higher talent level and records non fucking stop more than most artists. And he's got a good team of producers and songwriters yeah. and stuff. I don't want he's every got a nice single ecosystem going. Yeah, I don't need every single artist giving me thirty two records at all. Like, I'll take the lesser. In the, in the scenario you're painting, give me the Summer Walker formula over the Chris Brown one if we're talking just the playing field of artists. I wouldn't suggest any brand new act try this, so Summer Walker maybe should do that. A uh, seasoned act, I'm not saying, can do this. <laughs> 32 records, and what was his last one? 40? Something 45, like 44. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not. I can't name one and, other and, artist and that, I, that, that could do this. And before that, 45, uh, 45 <laughs> went out. Like uh, another fifty had leaked. I remember that. Yeah. Before that. Yeah. It's just overwhelming. To Before me. that, he put an EP out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he puts a lot of music out. He works hard. Yeah, he does. He works hard. I'm not taking anything away from that. I just. I just for don't me, want. Or he got great Adderall. Both. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Ashley, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if he can fuck with Joe on Adderall. I got a lot done on Adderall. That's a sick too. challenge. <laughs> huh? That's a sick challenge. The Adderall challenge? The Adderall challenge. Who does that? Please don't make that uh, challenge. Me, Edward. Rory, Chris Brown, <laughs> Parks. Uh, <laughs> who else? Rye Guy, Imani. Uh, Adderall <laughs> challenge. Who else? I think I, think I, drug, Ian, I drugged Ian Savon, one time. Ian, Erickson. Uh, you want to start? You want to keep going? <laughs> I can, no, I can I'm good. mad people to do that. Okay. Okay, got it. Uh, I just don't want anyone else to do the Adderall challenge, guys. For all you listeners And I'm joking. I'm, yeah, don't do the Adderall challenge. I haven't done Adderall <laughs> in a very long time. I don't, I don't want to be the guy to start any challenge. I haven't done it in a long yeah. time either. Uh, oh, you're right, Rory. You're right. I don't, I don't want to hear that from everybody. No, I'll, I'll take the other formula all day from pretty much every single artist before I'll take the 32. I don't. I think Chris is very unique in doing this just in how he works as an artist. Got because his. he's been giving us, and you know, Chris, his whole career, even before he was doing the 32 clips, he was doing fucking mixtapes with Ray J and Tiger. Like, he puts out a lot of music. That's yeah. what he does. Yeah. And to back Maul was saying, the superstar part, that's something that any other superstar can never fuck with with, with Chris volume. Mm -hmm. Like, Chris puts out more music than any superstar ever. And yeah. I don't even think it's even close. Granted, he's in a different generation than mm -hmm. the greats that we're probably talking about. Yeah. And he dealt with the internet, he dealt with mixtapes, like it's it's much different. He adapted to that, but you can't fuck with the volume of, of what Chris does. And and you know what? And another reason I will highlight him and his strategy and, and what he's doing here. Too often I come in here and talk about so many different artists that were really, really, really big radio acts that are struggling to transition in the streaming era. That's true. Chris Brown has 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 avoided that. Even yeah. even with all his career backlash, he still has avoided uh, that fate. Mm -hmm. There's never been a drop. He was giving us projects with Tiger, and there's never been a drop. <laughs> yeah, like think about it. I don't want to dicky too much, but facts is facts. Yeah, no, that, but that's that goes back to what I'm saying about he might be underrated because for the superstar talent that he is, he works like he's nowhere near elite. Like he puts out. Shit, like he's still trying to solidify himself. That's yeah, true. but even I'll go back on my point because I think like someone could argue to solidify that. Himself. Yeah, it's like nigga, you're Chris Brown. Like niggas know. I think someone could could argue, even though I just complimented. You could argue back that that's not how superstars move. Like you don't go do, and no disrespect to Tiger, Ray J, all the people he's done mixtapes with. Superstars don't do that. Right. You don't just put out little side blood projects with Ray J. Right. Like. You don't put out this much music. But he's one of those dudes that you can tell if Chris, if he's doing records and it sounds good, he, he doesn't care out. who's... Yeah, he's like, nigga, this shit is dope. And first of all, that Ray J and Chris Brown blood mixtape is hard. He got There's a lot of shows like that. That was like, damn, like, he just gave this one out? Mm. <laughs> come on, man. You can't hear the, the, the synth. Come on, <laughs> Ma, Smash Brothers is out tonight, man. We, 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 we riding around with this tonight, yo. So make a left. <laughs> <laughs> yo, niggas better start putting some fucking respect on my son' name. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> hey, Berg didn't produce that red song. Berg, why you let that nigga fucking produce that red song, man? <laughs> But other than that, I ain't gonna lie. We've got to start putting some respect on Berg's name out here. Oh, Cardiac did this too. 
Huh? Cardiac and Bird did this. I can hear you. Cardiac and Bird yes. did this. Yeah, I like when them two get in the studio. Shout, out to, Shout out to Cardiac. Cardi. Yeah. Shout out to Cardiac. Cardi, man. what up? I miss you, bro. <laughs> Oh, you can't even place it like this around the new joint. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hold on. Hold on. Twice. Yo, you, Maul, come on, man. You can't play this around nothing new when it, when it's just hitting 9 p.m. outside. You ride through. I can't do that, man. She's going to jump your bones. Then you're going to have to bones. ride her face. Fam In the whip <laughs> <laughs> Oh More riding face In the yo, whip And not yo. crashing in <laughs> Yo baby Put yo, your seat back gonna be tight Put your seat back baby <laughs> <laughs> Let me straddle That headrest <laughs> Rory My fault No no Turn to BLS <laughs> No no Turn to BLS <laughs> Yo Yo, some of the jokes of this podcast are never gonna die. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Maul. <laughs> it's whatever. That's man. fucked up. It's all right. I appreciate I it. I got a few jokes too that I can never say. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, please don't. I'm not. <laughs> Ow! Oh my fam, they are wilding. You knew what that was gonna sound like. Mm. Yeah, that record is hard. Well, that's because you had a new text for a month. <laughs> well, yeah. uh, but you knew but you knew, Well that's, that's not what I mean Parks You could imagine What that was gonna sound like Him and her yeah, Chris right. is him For Sorry, sure. sorry This him. whole time <laughs> Sorry him It's a new him in town Where the fuck is him Queens <laughs> her, her kicked it up a notch <laughs> Did she <laughs> Somebody better check on him I'm sure he's in his rebrand yeah, He's alright I fuck with him that's fucked up, man. He's Come on, to, him. He's trying to learn how to play the upright bass right now. <laughs> <laughs> he got to he gotta come back as like Gabriel Wilson and do the reverse rebrand Ooh. <laughs> nah, as, he, a, as a man. <laughs> no, nah, nah, he got to go do that shit with Tanaje. He got to be Himage or <laughs> some shit. Himage is not going to work. <laughs> Himage. <laughs> it does not have a certain how, ring to it. How you know Himage won't work? Ooh, no, Himage. Him no, no. no. Just because you say ooh after it, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it doesn't, you know what I mean, it doesn't get, mean it's gonna get catch. Bird to do something for him. <laughs> him is dope. I'm him. sure they're doing a rebrand. Listen, man, got to have a pool party now. If, if Chris was gonna do this, oh, we definitely that, need that changed party. everything. Yeah, he he dropped this at the right time. Like this is such a summertime oh, album. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and I saw some people comparing this album to uh, the Daniel Caesar album, and. I oh, never. Who's, who's I, doing who? that? I saw. I saw a few people. And you should unfollow those people. No, I don't follow those people. I don't follow those people. Um, They're two know, totally different albums. I never want to talk music with you people. I don't. <laughs> I don't, don't want to read your musical thoughts. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, you laughing? I totally agree. No, like, we there's have, certain people I just like. Can we nah, just I'm start saying go. that now? Like, like, like you know, how certain niggas you just don't want to read their sports takes. Like, I don't want to hear your musical. I don't want to read your musical thoughts at any point in the day. I don't yeah, want to read no interest. some people's anythings at any part That's of the show. Uh, two totally different albums, uh, experiences, sure. vibes. Uh, what did y'all? Did you hear Daniel Caesar? Of course you did. Uh, I did. Uh, day, uh, day party poppy. <laughs> <laughs> I have a new name. Day party poppy definitely heard it. What do you think? Uh, I liked it. It was. Uh, Are you dick eating? I know. <laughs> no, here it comes. Oh wait, that's your man. I forgot yeah, y'all was just together buddy, at Duce but, hugging. Buddy, buddy. At Duce? Yeah. <laughs> Daniel was at Duce? Damn, I must have missed him there. <laughs> um, oh, he wasn't that. You're right. You're right. You got. It. Come on, Roy. Don't don't make me sound stupid when you know what I'm talking about. I hate when my friends do that. <laughs> no, nah, you do it to y'all, yourself. You know, y'all was talking, right? Yes, we we spoke. Um, no, I liked it. He definitely got out of his comfort zone of just let me sing really well over these chords. Like I think <laughs> this, this is what you play. <laughs> Ninety percent of our audience is not going <laughs> to know at all. No idea. <laughs> that reference at all. That's why we're the kings. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I thought he experimented a little bit more. Got out of the typical pocket of here's these chords and I sing really well. He was talking about fucking bitches a little bit. I, I see him getting more mature, like he's lived life a little wanna, bit I don't more. I want to hear that from Daniel. And I don't believe it. Yeah, we're <laughs> after that virgin esque <laughs> behavior of the last six months. And just looking at Daniel. 
<laughs> no, but what if he's because of the success? What if the box rate is and, like? And Daniel, I'm joking. Wait, I'm, I got a no, pod. No, he, he, he addressed that in the in the. I forgot what record it was. He said that. Nah, now I'm fucking bitches. Yeah, like, I believe it. Now I'm turning bitches around now because I'm successful. Fuck I, y'all. I believe it's it. In the, it's in I the music. I believe it. Daniel, Jules. I believe it. Yeah, he was like, yo, they call me ugly. <laughs> now I'm fucking them from the back. Like that See? might be verbatim what he said. See? There you go. I believe it. Well, that don't really help his case. If you are fucking them from the back, they, they can't see you. So you still ugly, nigga. <laughs> What are you talking about? That doesn't change. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't that, change. We're just saying that now he can talk about but having that's not sex. Really addressing being He's ugly. lived his life a little bit more than the 19 year old we we thus knew before. Yeah, <laughs> got it. <laughs> Did you like the album? Uh, I I've only heard it once because mm-hmm. I didn't go back to it because of Freddie Gibbs, uh, Chris and the, Brown, the four hour of Chris Brown album. Um. There's something else I've been listening to. Oh, I'm still on Alex Osley, uh, too. So Great project. Yeah, because I just found out about it. So, no, I haven't gone back to his shit. But from Brand, what, from, Brandy feature was great. From what I heard, um, I like the Brandy feature. I was excited about that. But I'm, I, I don't want to say anything because I need to listen again. But the same, the same review, the same critique I had when he put that song out a long time ago. And I came in here and said, I'll never listen to it again because it sounds like the bad version of a song that should have been on his album. Okay. I think this album sounds like a bad version of the first album. Uh, I think they experimented a little bit damn, more production-wise. I didn't mean to say that, because that's, that's not an accurate depiction to me. Okay. No, I think they experimented a little bit more with the typical chords that were from that first album. I would have liked to see them do that more. But again, I've only, I've only heard this once. Okay. And I haven't gone back to it, so don't hold me to any of this. Gotcha. No, I, I liked it off, off first listen. I'm happy to have it. I'll say that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was I was asking for a Daniel Caesar project. We have one. I am excited to go back to it. You know what it is? Oh, man. It's a lot of psychoanalyzation in music. My lifestyle hasn't been conducive with one that would listen to Daniel Caesar right now. I've been out with Maul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not the time no, to, uh, to throw yeah, on the Daniel. Yeah, the, uh, yeah went. <laughs> to throw on the Daniel. <laughs> yeah, act like I don't listen to Daniel Caesar. Like, what's up, man? No, I, you don't listen to it with me in the fucking truck. Oh, nah, but Maul. I don't think two guys should be riding around listening to Daniel Caesar. Well, I've mobbed you before, Maul, and I wouldn't have thrown on the Daniel. Yeah. That no, wouldn't have been the, the song the Daniel. when you and I were in the streets together. Nah, yeah, nah. You throw the Daniel on, you got to really be into the girl, right? Or try um, to get into her. Well, I don't know. Have you, like, have you been in those weekend... Shits where like you pretend to love each other for like a day or two, and it's really dope. Those are the best. But you, bo- but oh, you both man, know wait, that you don't love each other. Yeah. For that, like those are the best yo, the weekends. Yo. Almost, almost loving somebody is really dope. Yo, when you could just get off, and I haven't done this. When both way. of you sit there and pretend to love each other for forty eight hours and do all that bullshit, it's amazing. It's the greatest thing in the world. <laughs> or when you say it during sex, and both of y'all know it's a lie. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Talk about a grower. Things, things get intense. <laughs> things don't get intense. Right? Right? No, yo, don't don't tell me that you love me during sex when you don't really love me with a little hint on your breath too, with a <laughs> with a hint to the hint. <laughs> the hint of the hen. The cognac on her, yeah, on her breath, yeah. on her mouth. Yo, just just a, t- a, a, a spice. Yeah, no, nothing overwhelming. Yeah, a couple H words. Yeah. How was all? Oh, uh, come here. <laughs> oh, dirty whore. <laughs> what have you done with your night? Come to daddy. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Why must we go that far? <laughs> you don't like a little that's, hint, a little hint, a, that's hint that's to the hen? I don't know. Nah, when y'all take missionary a little too serious. You know what I'm talking you about. You just lay there and start talking to each other. <laughs> All right, I'm exposing too much. Nah, or, 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 when it's, or when you're just going to keep laying there because you know her lazy ass ain't going to roll over and get oh, no, on top. Of course not. No, no, no. Don't just keep rubbing on me. <laughs> yeah. It's going to rub me down. It's been 50 minutes, bitch. Come on, get up. You, it's you, you get up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on, get up there. Yeah. <laughs> no, and, and stay for a second. <laughs> no. Enjoy the view. Yeah, don't yeah. fucking uh, hop up and down. Now's no. my turn. No, it ain't. No, no. Yeah. When you know she'll allegedly, you know when she'll Everything willingly take the plan B. Oh, come on, Mo. <laughs> the kings. You said what? Wait, what? When you know she'll willingly take the plan B. You in there. See? <laughs> Wait, when do you be knowing? <laughs> see what that? I'm saying? See how? See how sometimes parks <laughs> it just go too far. Like listen, listen, why? Mo. Oh, <laughs> you know she will. Sometimes plan B. Sometimes, sometimes, plan sometimes, a. It, sometimes it hit different parts. Some, you can't listen, say that. You can say that. <laughs> you cannot say that. Sometimes plan B is plan A. G is after D. Look at Rory out there on the ledge doing jumping jacks. <laughs> Listen, when the plan B conversation has already happened, Rory, how y'all, many, y'all chilling? 
How many Plan Bs have you purchased in your life? Truth to truth, let's do it. Um, that's a good question. I don't know. Like he's purchased, like went and purchased himself. Yeah. The guys do that? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, I gotta you that. trusted her? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are, I was thinking hey. like a gentlemanly thing to do. <laughs> Wait, y'all are, y'all are Rory went to full Wait. piece of shit mode. <laughs> but why is Rory a piece of no, shit? No, he's nah. He's you not wrong. To, I mean, you want to trust her to go? No. You trust her to get hey, out of your dick with water. What type of water do you want? Alkali- alkaline? <laughs> we got, al- extra we got extra alkaline. We got ascension. What kind of water do we you want? We got Fiji. You want OJ? You want the raspberry you, sparkling? You, you, you want, want a little flavor? Oh, you take yours with juice. Okay. <laughs> low, low pulp, high pulp. <laughs> How much pulp you want? <laughs> pulp. Now, the pulp might dilute it. Let's not do the pulp. Yeah, nah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. see. Actually, take a sip of this Brugal after you finish that, too, to kind of like nah, that's kick things into work. high gear. Um, well, yeah, yeah, wait, no, no, let's not leave this just yet. Well, yeah, the plan B come out. I wouldn't know. I was, I was already. It fucking. was existed <laughs> when I started fucking. You didn't do your research. You're like, fuck it, it's here. Yeah, it's here. <laughs> I didn't check the expiration date. It when, ex- when was this founded? <laughs> it existed when you. Were plan fucking. B since 1955. <laughs> hey, look up when Plan B came out, Savon, please, because I don't think. Look plan, at what, look at the. I don't think Plan B. <laughs> I don't think Plan B was out when Rory started fucking. No, it was. Uh, I started fucking at 04. Oh damn! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. Thank you. All Score right. one for Joe. All right. Ding ding. No, well, Roy said he started fucking in 06. No, I said 04. And Plan B came out in 06. Yeah. yeah. What were people doing? Guess before? I mismanaged those two years. Niggas are sick. <laughs> Better backtrack. <laughs> Niggas make they make you make them take the Plan B even when you don't shoot it up, just to be sure. <laughs> It's happened. <laughs> Can't say it hasn't. I'd back, be a liar. Back, what's that the equivalent of back in the day when dudes used to put on like, <laughs> why, why, why we used to think putting on three condoms was safe? <laughs> Y'all are sick. <laughs> three? Jersey City. Nigga. Yo, <laughs> damn. Y'all, was, y'all, y'all had AIDS, AIDS in Jersey City? Joe was fucking with a plastic bag. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's exactly what that's we got. had a hefty bag on his... What are you doing? <laughs> Shit was fucked up for a little bit. Three Heavy duty trash bag. On. If I feel like I have to put on three... I'm just not Listen, going in there. I don't think it's worth the fuck. I'm cool. Yeah, like I'm cool. Tanaja was fine, but I don't know. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> we never... No, you never know. Does that count? It's fucking if you have you know, three condoms. Some of these chicks is, is wearing the mallage on them. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, you could like, you could see it in their eyes. Yeah, yeah. My, that, see the wear and tear. That, that yeah. check engine light. <laughs> <laughs> All of them on. All of them. Yeah, you can see how they cheeks just droop down just a little bit. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, t- the, t- the tattoo has got a certain yeah. fade to them. The yeah. tits just start to keep getting further and further apart. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh man, she's been, ho- she been hoeing a while. Bra straps yeah. got limp ball on it. Oh, you're like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. I know. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, now you can see the little Robocop outfit under the dress. <laughs> It's like, oh, my, nah, nah. We ain't supposed to see the RoboCop. <laughs> your girdle was just, I'm, I'm looking at it. Come on, man. Put your, yeah, your girdle, come like, on, come on. Come on do not couple, tricking nobody. Yeah, do a few sit-ups first. Nah. <laughs> when did y'all find out? Chicks just skip sit-ups. <laughs> it went straight to Columbia. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. We don't have that luxury. I mean, you could, but you shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. <laughs> no, you haven't tried to. No, dude's been grieving to Columbia. <laughs> they have. And cut. So. <laughs> Yo, Plan B is expensive. You ever try to steal it and then realize it was behind the cages? Yeah. Yeah. No. That $70 used yeah. to hurt. And then you got to yell, yo. <laughs> yo, I think I had this bitch pregnant. Aisle six. Y'all got the key. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll take the generic. <laughs> <laughs> the Walgreens Plan B. <laughs> And it's fucked up because when you need the plan B, it's probably after a Friday, Friday, Saturday night. CVS, there's people in there in the morning. A lot. Yeah. There's a lot. A lot of them in. Now you on the line. You trying to sign language to do. <laughs> <laughs> and. <laughs> now the, the drunk trip to the uh, Dwayne no, Reed is rough. Have you ever had her, like, with you? <laughs> yes. And dude is just staring at you? Like, oh, oh, yeah, I'd get the plan B too, bro. <laughs> Y'all are sick. I never had a girl with me and purchase Plan B. I have. You are a freaky white boy. <laughs> <laughs> Rory the freaky that was white. freaky. That was Rory, a, Rory, Rory's a freaky white boy. Come on. That's white privilege. See, because black dudes, we can't go pick up the plan because she's going to be cursing us out in there the whole time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We ain't shit. This, that, and third. I got cursed out too, but it's, it was all right. It was bad. Nah, it was worth it. It was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> you, had, you dealt with it? Yeah. I feel you. 
First time you ever bought a Plan B, and it was like fifty nine ninety five. Like, wait, huh? <laughs> wait, fifty nine. That ain't cheap. <laughs> yeah, what's in this pill? <laughs> God damn, it, I'm about to take this. Shit. <laughs> they used to own. We gonna split this Plan B. <laughs> this sixty dollar pill. <laughs> you know the sixty dollar perk do. <laughs> Now I found out because we used to get them for free on the uh, the clinic on Bergen. Horizon. Mm. Yep. Live live right that, right across the street. <laughs> that's why we needed three condoms. You was getting them from Horizon. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> used to get them for free. Nasty. And then once they stopped giving them for free, I went to go buy them, and I didn't realize that it was fucking $70 yeah, to make yeah, sure. Yeah. You ever had a chick to try to in, insert you in her, and you're like, get off of me. Where's your condom? <laughs> You so, ho, you ho, put a condom <laughs> on me. The nerd, I don't yeah. know where you've been. Have y'all put a ever condom seen on it? me. You don't know where yeah. I've been. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have y'all ever used a female condom? Yeah. Parks, don't talk Parks. to me like that. What's up, man? Don't ask What's me no going shit on, like that. All right, so, uh, so how the car, the What happened in L.A.? Yeah, yeah. yeah. female condom. They used to give them out Do you know a female that has a female condom? No. They used to give them out at the clinic, though. I was like, who has ever used one of these yeah, shirts? never. She could pull out some fucking edible panties before she pull out a, a, a female Edible bra. panties. You ate edible... P- <laughs> Mom. I'm glad that whole... Mom. The 90s, I'm glad I came the after the edible wild. panty wave. No, I'm so glad I came after. <laughs> Get off of me, man. Yo, in the 90s, yo, we had to go up against Devontae and them niggas, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> Hey, if any of you niggas out there listening Wait, that to was your edible panties to before, them. man, you niggas can't be eating edible panties, man. In the nineties, we had to get deep into, and not we, because I've never done that. So let me let me yeah, let me clear the air. I don't know. I don't know. Panties, I'm telling you, okay. the air is, I'm, I'm the air is not you. clear. Yeah. No, it's mad uh, foggy in here. I'm not eating no edible panties, man. Oh, Ma, is a call? Oh, oh it's his sister. <laughs> That's not my phone, Rory. That is your phone. <laughs> we on camera, bitch. <laughs> that ain't me, nigga. I'm gonna see my kid. <laughs> Did we ain't say who was hitting? What you mean? Mm. Rewind that. <laughs> <laughs> you you told. I didn't say anything. Yeah, no, no, hold up. This is a perfect segue. Let's let's get into y'all little adventure. Cause I hit Joe in the DM. I said, all right, you giving him a little 1 a.m. highway vibe again. I see you try to clean it up mm. with the plate of food. Cause we killed you about that. Like, oh no, I was Yo, just going peep, to eat. You peep? I was just going no, to eat, guys. That was, that, was, that, was move. Yeah. that was my little trick. So I hit him on the it's DM. True. I said, all right, I see how you try to clean it up with the, with the oxtails. Wait, hey. That's where you was driving. He new, said, nah, I'm out with more. I new, said, oh, new, I can't on. wait. New highway vid for your head tops. This <laughs> nigga, <laughs> Joe. No, don't, our head tops are fine. Nah, but <laughs> really I, fine. No, I didn't say they weren't. Okay. I said. Just a new, new highway vid for your head tops. Got you. And your head tops got a new highway vid. So you guys went and got some oxtail together? Yeah, went and had, went and had a nice little meal, man. Hopped on the highway and me, got an me, oxtail? Me, me, Maul, and Bone Crusher. Huh? It's a only, sick trio. Only Joe would be sitting down eating right next to Bone Crusher. Do you have Bone Crusher in your Serato? Yeah. <laughs> I would hope so. Yeah, come on. You bone, better. You ain't no Bone Crusher in Serato? <laughs> bone Crusher looks the same. And that was that was, that was pretty funny though sitting there. Eating. Isn't he from Atlanta or something? Yeah. Well, he yeah, was yeah. going back. He was going back. Oh, okay. He's always been cool. He's always been cool. I was happy to see him. I was. I was shocked to see him in Melba's, but fuck it. Yeah, I was <laughs> okay. shocked to see him. I thought um, so you two just had a nice meal at, at Melba's, and then you guys went your separate ways to your respected homes? Oh. Nah, we sat outside and talked for a little bit, right? What did you guys talk about? Yeah. Okay. Life. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just yeah. a little life. Yeah. yeah. A little life lessons. Mm. Mm. Then I, I figure I would take uh, take more of this little spot that I go to sometimes. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. went to see what Joe be doing. Oh, gotcha. What's, what's Joe be doing? Not important. I mean, taking <laughs> care of the fam. It was like a, a, <laughs> it was a cigarette spot, you know. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of Newports. You took him to the bodega? Yeah. yeah <laughs> Show me a few. i never seen one before, oh, Mark. Okay. my first time. So. I took, took, took more all over there, man. Yo. Maul was great. I want to go out with Maul every day. <laughs> Why? Can I tell y'all that? Why? Do y'all know that? Why? Y'all, I did need, not know y'all that. need to go out with Maul, man. I don't I go out with Maul. I know it's a privilege because he don't hit niggas. That's but true. I don't true. do shit. That's I don't true. go out. I really don't go out. He was out spending? No. He I broke up ch- the brick? No, I was chilling, man. I was, I was, I was just having fun looking at Joe. Joe was just, just watching Joe move is just hilarious. All right, like, so we have conflicting stories here at Parks yeah Joe was saying he loved watching Maul during this evening and right. Maul said I loved watching Joe during this evening that's why they're but insinuating that each of them were doing something but the other party no, no. was not no no let me clear that up that's not conflicting let me help let me clear that up uh, 
Niggas know how Joe give it up. <laughs> like, that's, like, so, Mo wasn't coming to watch how Joe give it up. Mo, you know, know, you know, yeah. how, yo, if you know it's Joe, funny, yeah. you know how Joe give it up. It's just funny. I will. And if you know Mo. I will save us an edit point and just say, I know. And if you know, <laughs> and if you know Mo, then you don't know how he gives it up. I do. Do you? I've seen Mo on the spot. I'll be chilling. But listen, this is why it's funny. Because let me speed this up because the niggas outside have no idea what we're talking about. But uh, this is why it's funny. Maul teased me for weeks. Or what felt like weeks anyway. Mm-hmm. Okay. About my highway vids mm-hmm. at 1 a.m. Mm-hmm. Just whatever. Just being silly. Yeah. Mm. So when me and him hit the highway vid together and I'm just sitting there doing my one-two thing and I turn to the side and I just look, look at where Maul I You know how you just look at somebody and look where they're looking? <laughs> but then see them like locked in. It was a gaze. Yeah, it did was you, a. Did it you was, post a highway video too? It was a too? strong gaze. Did you guys battle it out for the gaze? Then it was like a high, a head nod, and then it. Then I think I did see a couple sinks. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Couple, just a little chill. light. Oh, oh, light. Yeah. Listen, I chill, I, I, that whole light, night I was like, I'm chilling. Yeah, a light, lightweight <laughs> blueprint. Yeah. Nah, I was. Ball didn't throw him. He just put it on the table and slid his hand. <laughs> nah, uh, here yeah. you go. Here you go, Mom. That's my business card. Like, yeah, <laughs> nah, you know? that's my move right there. <laughs> <laughs> Neat, neatly folded. Here you yeah, take, yeah. take this. It's the business Ooh. card. You know Yeah, yo, I'm so glad. At your convenience. I'm so glad. At your convenience. Whenever you get a chance. No rush. It don't be a rush. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you, when you slip the business card to them in there, don't be a rush. No, they, they really. don't get to you no time soon. No, no, I'm not expecting. I'm that slip to. a couple dollars in here, here, man. I don't want to touch you. <laughs> but I don't want to touch you. I'm not. I'm not like the rest. <laughs> <laughs> No, Chill, like Rory, let me, get my shit off. Yeah, yeah, let me get my shit yo, off. Yo, let me get my shit off. Moore was in there being charming. I'm like, yo, if you don't knock it the fuck off. He went by the bar, bar made a drink. <laughs> you know he got... You know, <laughs> no, yeah, I did not. Yeah. Bar made? I, I yeah. don't even drink. Yeah. I don't listen to no, Did you no, call her no, a bar no, made? No, you gave it to her. <laughs> I, got, I made he it for her. He went in the bar. Yeah, he well, we, we've seen Maury drink. Made a drink. Yo, that's fucked up. I never did. I didn't do that. I could see you was parched. I could see... Really? And I, I can see I can see Joe Wilding in there and then Maul coming in. Yo, pardon my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gets a little ahead of himself yeah, yeah, sometimes. Nah, sure. never that. Because Joe, my move, I reach over, grab the paper towels, patch it back down. Get some of this. <laughs> see, now y'all know who was really wild. <laughs> look at his shit. You know, get, yo, up. look at the levels. Look at the levels I have to go to to just keep it compelling. No, here. no, no. You didn't content. have to do that. You didn't. You didn't have to pull out the paper towels. We were fine. Nah, you were sweating her back. She was sweating her back. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. I'm joking anyway. Yeah, uh, no, all jokes. No, nah, don't die. Fuck out of here, Parks. Wipe you down. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, light pack. Light pack. It was like that. Light pack. Yeah, no, we had, we had, we had a good time. I had a good time with Maul out there. I, yeah, I, it was can, fun. We, can we do that? I'd like to go out again yeah, with you. Can we? Absolutely. Oh man, yeah, it's the second absolutely. day. Oh, I see the fits. Y'all playing it already? No, no. This this was got not, the Travis Scotts on. <laughs> got the rainbow matching on. No, this was on this the was end scene. Chilling outfit. Joe was dressed. He's dressed to impress tonight. <laughs> Dora with the legs out. Come on, you know yeah, the shades. I know, the shades, the lenses. Yeah, with the, 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 the shades. Those you know like what he's trying to do. Too. You know what he's trying to do. I know what type of time when you wear the thin fabric. Yeah, <laughs> nasty. <laughs> trying to get your back. money's worth. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot out. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get your money's worth. <laughs> no, no joke. Get his money's worth. <laughs> That's one thing about it. He gonna get his money's worth. He gonna get his money's worth. That's a fact. I give him that. I, I, I say a lot of shit about Joe. What are you doing? Free, free ball with the Costco sweats. You gonna get your money's worth. He gonna get his money's worth. Like, yeah, Joe giving it up. He, well, he get his money's worth. Trust me. He get his money's worth. Yeah, no, he, he invests in here. Don't yeah. do that. I only tip the people that I know and I'm cool with. Know. Don't do that. No, no, no. Don't make it seem like no, 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 no. Joe he, give it he up don't be like in that. Here bugging out. Like that. <laughs> that makes mad sense to the listener when they don't know that he knows every person. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. One of the, one of the bartenders was like, yeah, Joe works here. I was like, oh, no, I know. I know he yeah. works here. I know. It's cool. All right, well let's uh, let's wrap up music. <laughs> Just finished. Y'all ruining the. Yo, I'm home in bed right now. <laughs> yeah, yo, what is up with y'all on this podcast? Oh, yo, oh, I'm home in bed right now. Yeah, I, I know. I'm nigga. I'll flip the. Uh, I'll flip the camera around. It'll be <laughs> I'll send that Joe, one. Through. Joe got the universal like six, seven selfies of him on different angles of a pillow that he send out. Yeah, you know he, he takes pictures you know, of his legs in the bed before he leave the crib. Yeah. 
Oh, you are? I know that with the fit. To make sure the fit match. Yeah, I'm in the bed. Now nah, you can't do that because chicks will know when I, chicks will know exactly when the picture was taken. Yeah, they have a way. Yeah, see? don't ask how. Yeah. They know. It's an app we don't know about. Yeah. Anyway, glad we were able to talk about all of those hypothetical situations. Yeah, course, hypothetical. Yeah. You guys went to Melbourne. You got oxtail. And just everyone went home. Hypothetically, yeah. No, we definitely went home. Bone crusher went to the airport. I know. Yeah, yeah. bone crusher still yeah, crushing bones. It was an early night, actually. <laughs> Mad, yeah. mad unentertained. You was mad when you got home, like, damn, I was trying to go out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was really trying to take it there tonight. Uh, what else is happening in music? Come on, Rory Segway King. Uh, Cardi put out the press video. Press, 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 press. Cardi don't need no press. All bitches trying to impress. Who the fuck trying to impress? I think that that was actually the lyrics. Good job. Really? I think I, so. I just like how obnoxious that is. Like press, 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 press. <laughs> Cardi don't need no press. Like, do you know how much press Cardi did? Yeah. <laughs> Cardi is, Cardi's done a lot of press. She's letting like, you know she doesn't need it. She, did she all, don't need she, it though. Yeah, but she busts her ass. And she's That's letting charity. us know that we're pressed. We are mm. pressed. That we were very pressed. We are wow. pressed. I ain't people like that. Yeah. I'm not gonna say it because I can't say it anymore. Yeah, you're but right, you're right. if there was a word that explained that it had two meanings yeah, in yeah. the same meaning, yeah. hey, more you're right. He can't be in the 40, 90, 50 club. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Man. A little more J.R. Smith than that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, you're right. So the, the so the press video, right? It it came out on uh, all your streaming platforms. Oh, God, I'm for it. <laughs> <laughs> what did y'all think of the video? Uh, I didn't see it. I didn't see it either. Uh, well, she's. Naked, it. but not from really clip, naked. From the clips I saw, yeah, it, it, lo- it looked great. Yeah. Uh, it looked like they spent a lot of money. It looked like great She's backgrounds. Probably her best, her best video. She looked today. amazing. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, but I didn't see the actual video yet. I mean, off the clip, you get you get the idea of it. Oh, if that's the case, then I love it. Yeah. It was, no, that. No, it was a good video. It was a good it video. It was that. She's definitely, you can see the superstardom now in her visuals. Like, you can see it. Oh, in the visuals. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you can see it. Yeah, no, it's true. Um... But she's not putting the album out off this record, is she? I think it's coming soonish. I, I, I would think so. I would be surprised if if, I, if we heard a Cardi album before November. Oh no, I, I think th- it's coming in the summertime. I think I'm late with you, summer. Joe. I think it I like, might. I like I think late, maybe late November. third quarter. Yeah, uh, early fourth. I think November. Yeah, I, I think she's too. Uh, yeah, I think she's Actually, too, no, much, too, much, too, much rely, too much dependent on, on her and what her numbers do for them to rush rush her out without making sure all the ducks are in a row the same way they do for superstars of that ilk. Does she still need that at this point? Yeah. I think anything she would drop would do numbers, though. Yeah, I think she's in that space now. Like, yeah. I think Well, no, she of course, need but the, to do it correctly. She'll do that, numbers. That's, that's well, you always want to give yourself the best... Put yourself in the best position, but I don't think that I don't think it's too much. You know, they don't have to think too much with Cardi at this point. Yeah, she's well, gonna do what she's gonna do. I don't. Know. I, just, I, I disagree. I think they have to think a lot about I, it. I, no, I, th- I don't think so. You know what? I know that that's been the thinking. Ca- Cardi has a cult following. People love her. But let's, let me talk. Even real quick. If, it, if it's not good, they I, love her. I know that that has been the thinking a lot in the past um, with what you're saying. But I've always thought the opposite, or at least after I, I was signed. The bigger you are, the more you're afforded to do, which is the more debt that you're in. <laughs> That's true. So you need to do you need to do more because we're gonna give you more for the video, right. as we saw. Right. You're a woman, so all of these outfits and the makeup and the hair she and the costs. travel and the security, we're giving it to you because because you're a superstar. Whoever you want to go in the studio with, wherever you want to do that at, yeah, you know it's on you. So I mean. That's what I'm saying. So, yeah, she has to do more because she has to do more. <laughs> yeah. That shit is recoupable like a motherfucker. I do think, I do think that she could drop, uh, not taking away from what you're saying, I do think that she could drop and do numbers. Yeah. No, I think Carter can drop whenever she wants. Like, I don't even think they need but, a whole rollout plan. I think if an album pops up on iTunes or Spotify right now, Cardi B new album, people are going to download it. Absolutely. Of course. But I think to what, do it correctly. What do you think right? the expectation would be? Oh, she would sell a lot. That give it to me. Come on, more two hundred plus I first disagree. week. Yeah, 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 I agree. I yeah. think three fifty is what they would they would want from her. That's high. That's that's a that's so a, you have to do more. No, no, I, I think three fifty to get to three fifty. Listen, the, the shit that you talking about, I saved that for Cole, Drake, Kendrick. The rest of you niggas work. Cardi's in that conversation now. Yeah, she's in that same group. I, I do I not. I so. do not put okay. her there at all. Okay. 
That and group, that's not a slight. That, it's just how they operate as artists. That crew by just name, they go gold in a week. How much Cardi did? Cardi, Cardi just won Best Rap Album of the Year. Oh no! Once you, I, I, once think, you, I think I agree. once I think you she's win, there. once you win that, <laughs> once you win that, and you have big records behind that album, and you're on other featuring on other big records, like you can, she's I in do, that space. I think she's headed there. She's in that space. She's right there. Of going gold in a week. Because that's so. the club I'm talking about. That's yeah. an exclusive I think she, club. I think, she, I think she's in that space right now. Absolutely. Hell no. Okay. No, nah, I don't know about that. No way. Uh, I, th- okay. I think she needs. At and least I would two love to singles. be wrong. I would love to be wrong. You know, I, I don't doubt QC. I don't doubt. Uh, I don't doubt Cardi. I don't want this to sound like a slight at all. I just don't think she's there yet. I think it nothing takes about work. this conversation yeah. is a slight. I think, I'm actually shocked. I think at, it takes that, work. At stance in this conversation because he's always on the other side of Card the Cardi championing. Like no, I love Cardi. I always champion. It was just when people started the Cardi Nikki thing. And I was just like, well, Nikki has accomplished so much. I was like, we have to give Cardi time. Like, you can't just yeah. want to push Nikki to the side because there's a new hot act in town. So like, then, how could you say that? Do, do you think you've given her enough time? Now you put oh, well, her I'm in just, this club. I'm just, I'm just looking at what she's doing, what she's done, the momentum. But anytime she puts a song out, anytime she appears on the TV, anytime. I mean, it's when you have a it's, when you have a Pepsi commercial, you're expected to word, go gold first week. Word up. Everybody doesn't get a Pepsi commercial. Like yeah. that's just. I'm just looking at the momentum and I'm looking at what she's doing away from just I just don't think if you music. put press out and then put out an album, you're going gold the first week. Well, no, now wait, time out. Because we be having these conversations and I totally forget all this bundle package tour shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So maybe Maul's right. Yeah. Because the Cardi tour is selling out. Yeah. And if that's the case, then she, she maybe does gold. Yeah. In a week. She has a Pepsi commercial, best rap album of the year. Well, hold I on, mean, what? She's you going say on you tour. say with tour, all right. You're saying Cardi by herself or Cardi plus Migos plus QC artists. I thought she was doing like a um, a female tour thing, wasn't that? I a, think we talked about that. Yeah, yeah I don't. I don't know, know if that's happening that still shit. or what. So are are we saying with that tour? What I, what I'm saying is no way on God's green earth. Same way they do with all the other mega stars, Sands, Little Wayne, which one day we need to have that talk to. They fucking missed the boat with that one. Yeah. Um, Sands, Lil Wayne. All the major superstars build a tour, build a seventy city tour or something wild around their around their album. The people that they think can sell it, and we know she can sell it because she's selling everything for everybody. Yeah, I think soon. Well, I still think it should be, but I think it's more important now what people do on their tour, their touring, than what they sell as far as the albums. Because to me, that's that shows you exactly who this artist is. When you put them on tour, you put a tour together, and they you see the people coming out, they selling out arenas, stadiums, whatever the, whatever the venue is, are they selling it out? Then you know exactly what that artist is. Cardi's gonna does, sell a lot of tour tickets. Does, does Cardi do hits. arenas in every city? Yeah, yeah, she got a lot of hits. Not so. alone. I was gonna say. Not alone. But Assisted. Yeah, yeah, yeah but okay. she'll have a nice. She got Bruno Mars or somebody yeah, with her. Yeah. <laughs> well, all right. If you have Bruno Mars, of course you're doing. I think you've been, you're a in stadium of artists that territory do at that point. Is, uh, but Rory, to even be able to do it, no, a, I'm talking about the Cardi B, whatever the name of her next album is, tour with whatever assisted QC artist they put below because QC is extremely smart and will do that. Are they doing arenas in every single tour? Yep. Every single city. Yep. I thought they were doing Cardi? something with Cardi oh, yeah. and yeah. City Girls, and uh, I thought there was a whole female tour. Can we find out so we can stop guessing, please? <laughs> A female tour? Because I'm not, yeah. I'm not pretending to, to uh, have no of any tour. I'm just saying they're not rolling her out without there being a tour. I don't I, know about I, all I girls. I don't I know about none of that. Totally agree with you. Whoever they put on there, I think it'll be arenas everywhere. I think uh, Atlanta could do that bundle package, whatever cheat code shit they do. The Ducks are in a row for the major superstars, and you know that they pull out all the, they pull out all the tricks in the, uh, of the trade. They pull out the cheat mm. codes for them. So why would we think otherwise for her? Now, if all of those things happen and it don't work, then... Hey, on to the next one. We gave it our best shot. But I don't think anybody feels like that. And I don't think she feels like that when you say press, 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 press. Cardi don't need no. When the artists start feeling like fam, let me not say that because some of the artists are just introverts and weird. But when the artists worked their way to I don't need press, they feel like they're going to sell <laughs> a lot. Uh, that's all I got there. Enough uh, enough Dick Rodden Cardi again. But I love uh, Cardi. Did you see, uh, and this isn't yes, me I did. trying to make a, a joke about the press situation she had. Um, it looked That looked like it was Uptown. Uh, I think I wasn't she was going sure. to do a hair salon, salon or something. Uptown News. New York, you saying? It looked like it to me. Also, the thing I was thinking of is uh, uh, Live it Nation. Been. It was called Live Nation 
Fem It Forward all female series with Cardi, Georgia Smith, Brandy, uh, Ari Lennox, City Girls, Tiana Taylor, Rico Nasty, uh, Kelly. That sounds like a great tour. Yeah, Jill Scott, Faith Evans, Tweet Monica. Like, What's, but I don't know that, if this what, is it's spot. Yeah, it's a, a spot oh, okay. date thing. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, those are spot dates. Yeah, we, I think she will have a tour coming. Yeah. Uh, you were saying, Roy. Yeah, she was. Uh, it looked like it was I uptown that somewhere. Was in DR somewhere. <laughs> was it? It looked like maybe I'd be bugging. I don't know. Um, news came up to her. She was like, "Hey, I look like shit. I don't really want to do an interview." Like, and she was really being nice about it. She was like, "You're a woman, you know. Like, you look great with your makeup. You came out here ready to do an interview. I don't want to do one. I'm just gonna go into this hair salon or whatever the fuck it was." Uh, and they didn't give up. And she was with her father. Uh, and she was suggesting to them, hey, my father doesn't roll around with security. Please get my father off camera. Someone would want to do harm to him if they see his face. Mm. And the headlines tried to flip it like Cardi was wilding the fuck out, and I agreed with every word she said. Same. Yeah. I yeah, thought she was 100% in the right. Yeah, you got to um, leave people alone, man, especially if they're with family. And that happens a lot. It happens a lot to uh, to famous to famous people, especially today with all of these phones and cameras and rude people that – just don't respect privacy and space. No cooth. No. Yeah, no. None at all. So, yeah, and, and f- fuck me. Like, we sign up for this. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like, only but so much complaining we can do because it's the life we chose. Cardi's dad, like she said, he, he ain't sign up. He ain't sign up for this. He don't really know the ramifications of what you're doing, what you're trying to do, what you're saying. Like, he probably still people, go to the Dominican supermarket in the Bronx. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, like people that live normal lives, they don't understand none of that shit. You just the news, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, no, it's not right. It's and, not right. And you say that that they signed up for it. I agree, but if you can be polite and say no, like I still signed up to be a polite human being, right. and I'm asking you, hey, please don't do that. That, that like, means let's, that. Unfortunately, <laughs> that means nothing. If I shoot you, I'm brainless. If you shoot me, it's 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 that. Like. You get to be a dick a million times because yeah. I'm the famous one. I only get one, mm. and right. sometimes not you, even that. You get to follow me. Like I've been following. Come on, y'all. Y'all have been with me. Like, of course. Yeah. Like niggas do fucked up shit. Like you don't speak to somebody. You don't take a picture. Now they cursing you out. They following you. They fucking calling your names. They, like it's nuts out there, and ain't nobody got time for. It, especially when you with your kids, right. or your family, or in court. Or on a business call, or eating, or there's a million situations. Or going through some real life shit. That, that just right. happened Definitely. when I, I was I was on my way up. I was on my way up here, uh, just trying to get something, to, uh, stop to get something to eat. In the, dead in the middle of the meal, first meal of the day at 4 p.m. or something. Wow. He goes, "Hey, pardon me, can I take a picture?" No, no, I'm not rude in that, but no. no. So, but she she sat to the side somewhere. And when I finished eating, I did go back up to her and say, "Now you can take one." I, I don't, I don't do that. Right. Mm-hmm. And she, no, I totally understand. I totally understand. Like, you get some fans that will get it. Yeah. Most of them don't. <laughs> no. Most of them don't. So, uh, shout out to Cardi. Shout out to Cardi's dad. Uh, and that's why she press, 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 press. <laughs> Cardi and my dad don't need press. Is that the remix? <laughs> no. It's not the remix. Um, you're getting your, your Dreamville album. They're putting out a doc. Surround around the whole thing. Yeah, which we figured out would be Dreamville. Yeah, Dreamville. 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 That's more cool. of a fade to black look how I put this entire shit together that's cool um, which comes out July 2nd which to me means the album's coming probably that Friday which is the 4th or the 5th okay I, I would just imagine oh, so next, next, yeah, next week yeah if you're gonna okay. put that shit out on a Tuesday I assume the album's coming at the end of the week I like active Dreamville I do too they've been very 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 active yeah and it looks good on hip hop <laughs> yeah yeah the, the trailer looked good and I, I'd like to know what was happening in all seven of those rooms <laughs> All million producers. With all those people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sure there's some great footage in there. So, Can't wait to see it. You said July when? Uh, July 2nd. What, Got it. Uh, what platform? Or should we not say? All of the DSPs. Uh, all of the DSPs. Yeah. No, I don't know, actually. I'll have to look. Um, let's try to wrap up music. Uh, do we care about the, the words Nikki had for, for the BET Awards? What she said? Uh, they, Y'all trash. <laughs> somebody put out... Yeah. Um, I forgot what platform said that BT Awards, it fell to like two million, the worst it's ever done, type shit. And then Nikki retweeted that, and I'm paraphrasing, of course. Well, let's that not this... paraphrase. Let's find it and read it. <laughs> okay, I wasn't gonna make her sound crazy. No, 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 no. she was just saying that this is what happens it. when you treat an artist like shit, and their fan base doesn't want to watch you. During you're doing petty things in spite of me, and your ratings went down. 
That's more or less what she said. Got it. Yeah, I right. thought I read that the reports of the ratings being low was false, but... Well, ratings are going to go low regardless because most people do not watch cable TV, and those ratings come from cable TV. That's like, true. I'm sure more than half of those people watched it on their phone. I watch, yeah, what did true. Denzel say? If you don't watch the news, you're uninformed. If you do what? watch the news, you're misinformed. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, one one outlet said this was the lowest ratings in the last 15 years at 2 million, and I clicked on that uh, shit, and just to look at all the ratings, and in 03, it was like something like 4, 15 million, mm-hmm. 12 million, 10 million, all the way down to this year being at 2 million. And BT came out, of course, the next day and rebutted those reports and the Nikki shit because they don't want that heat on them. So they said, no, that's not confirmed at all. I don't know where you got that from. We ain't even released no numbers, but here they are. We did 12 million across blah, 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 blah. And then they yeah. sent their breakdown of, of them skewing numbers. Mm-hmm. See, I guess you just have to be able to spot how people skew numbers. Because when the first thing you tell me, it's like when artists start telling you, hey, my album is number one on iTunes for, uh, fam, just tell me that you trash. <laughs> don't, don't, don't piss on me and try to tell me it's raining. Number one on iTunes means, uh, what? Right at the second. Yeah, the like, come yeah. on. It's, it's not a clear indicator of very much. Um, so well, I, I wasn't aware that something happened with Nikki and BET for those awards. Like That, that was, was a news. couple years ago. It was a little while ago, yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought she was and referring I don't know what to it this is. year. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't remember so, exactly. No, it was a couple years ago. I forgot what it was. But okay. I thought no, she was talking the, about uh, this year. No, remember the intern tweeted the thing about... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah. corny. That was yeah. corny, though. Yeah, from BET. the official BET site. I forgot what it was. I remember that. Yeah, that was, yeah, super, yeah, that was super corny at BET. They tweeted that from the BET account. Yeah. So BET put something out that said this was their highest rated show Uh uh, and number one between the ages of 18 and 34. Okay. That means nothing. That means zero. That don't say anything. At the, you, you could still have, to have, have had two million people watch and that be true. That doesn't combat that. <laughs> okay. So you're skewing shit. Uh, then they said they did 12 million overall across all channels. Well, slow down, fam. You're doing it again. That was something I thought was... We like, I tried to figure that out. Well, was, like, the awards was on VH1, BET, on, MTV. That shit was, was on... Really? What's on Viacom? Yeah, it's on Viacom. Uh, yeah, it's but that's Viacom. what I'm saying. So are they counting now, it from all the channels? Been on Comedy Central. Central. Well, when they say across all channels, they mean okay. all so of the yeah. channels, including repeats, yeah, okay. which is how you get to And I think this was the first million. time they did that. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember, I don't remember being on all networks. networks. Being on VH1 and all I don't either, but I can see it. I remember when VMAs was definitely on every Viacom channel. Period. BET Awards was not. And MTV yeah. Awards, too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm not certain about the BET Awards. I don't really remember that. But, yeah. So, but I'm, I'm glad yeah, the BET Awards were saying that, all that shit. In 03 and 04, the numbers was like 12 and 14 million. And when I saw that, I was like, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. If yeah, you're not, that's I, not like. When I saw it, I said, I wonder if they're counting uh, across all channels and uh, and uh, re-air. The re-airing. Oh, yeah. Because mm-hmm. that's what you do when you, when you count, you, you yeah, count I, the re-air. I also wonder how streaming, because I, I streamed it. So I wonder how that factors in. That was, was, was going to be my next question. App. Yeah. yeah I'm that. sure that's that's accounted. Yeah, I'm sure. But they would be foolish people. Not to be. I don't know. And, and, and there's no way for us to ever find out. Because for numbers to run the whole world, we certainly deal with all of the companies that just won't release any. Right. Yeah. Or just fudge them. Nobody will tell us anything. Nobody will show us anything. No, we come from the era of fudging. Right. Now they're not releasing. Yeah. Mm. No DSP Who's... will tell will tell you the, uh, their numbers. Most of you podcasters don't know your true numbers. No. Uh, BT ain't gonna tell us uh, their numbers. NFL ain't gonna tell. Like everybody is just that Netflix ain't. They only gonna tell us when it's great. Yeah. When it's, yeah. And when they, they don't paid. really. They That's don't... what I meant by fudging. They tell you the skewed hot. Like the way to say it hot. Like yo, I'm hot in this. Like you said, the, this demographic t- between 18 and 35. But it means nothing when you are the one reporting it. Right. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. Like that ain't a fudge. That's just you telling. I'm coming in and tell you right now. Yo, I sold 30 million records. And. <laughs> right. If there's no, if there's, if there's, uh, if there's nothing, a the therapist says keep shit. Try to keep shit fact based. If we can't reference, if we can't fact check that anywhere, and now it's just to be taken as as. My word is bond. Right. Fam, we're taking 
Word is bond from corporations. <laughs> Think about this. That's also yeah. the conflict of interest when the DSPs have deals with specific artists. So if I'm doing a deal with Chance and I'm Apple Music, what do you think I'm reporting to Billboard? <laughs> the real numbers? No. Nah. And Never. even, I, so you guys know I'm not biased, with Title, with, with a Hove album or a Beyonce album, if I'm Title and I own Title, what do you think I'm submitting? That shit is platinum, bro. <laughs> like, what do you think I'm submitting? The real numbers? Another reason that Hov is the man, because he was doing that shit in 05 or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't Wait, when he was the president of Def Jam? <laughs> 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 like, what you think I'm saying American Gangster did, huh? <laughs> like, come on, what you think? <laughs> this shit and, flying off the show. And, and whatever else I needed to do, go get me the fucking budget from X album or some shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let me get this popping. From Joe's room. <laughs> Thanks, Parks. That's funny. Uh, where were we? Oh, nah. come on, come came. on, nah, nah. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. Let me get that love and hip hop drop. Oh, I got yeah, you. Yeah, right. nah, we've been serious got, too long. Yeah, it's trash. Been serious way it's too trash. long. Come we on. we in the Nikki realm. Let's 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 have some fun. Oh shit! Was this a case of Mendeecees having his cake and eating it too? Because when he wasn't with Yandy, was he with Erica? When he wasn't with Erica, would he be back with Yandy? Because if both women carried the term, the pregnancies would have some overlap. All right, one of your one of my favorite segments is back. We haven't done it in a little while. I know everyone's kind of been everybody's acting been, right. <laughs> uh, no, niggas that just ain't been trying to get their old work back. <laughs> I don't think everybody every, everybody's been acting wrong. Actually, yeah, yeah. summertime. Yeah, hot, yeah. Bo- hot boy summer. Hot boy summer. It's gonna be oh, hot boy it is. A, that, y'all hey. gotta stop saying that. <laughs> that shit, but why? It makes it my skin crawl when y'all need hot boy summer. What does that mean? You know the vibes. You know you the vibes. It, right? oh, yeah, you're, oh, you're, you're looking out. at the hot boy uh, summer. Wear less and go out more. Gotcha. Yeah. Right. Yo, when you went behind the bar and started shaking the seltzer with the... Uh, <laughs> what? The seltzer. You don't want to shake the seltzer. That's, that's gonna you, look how around. Joe got me looking behind the bar. Shaking <laughs> seltzer. What, yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, I'm off of you. Fuck you, more. All right, we have our segment back. Uh, Benner. What's up, Benner? All right. <laughs> oh, man. Well, hold on. Give, give some backstory. All right, I came in here a little while ago, and let me let me uh, qualify by saying, you know, I don't know shit about shit. I'm only here to get some jokes off. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes it's tough to do that when you know the people. So all of these relationships that we're about to talk about, starting with uh, starting with Seferica. Huh? That's not that was never that was never a name. <laughs> no one Who's ever that? said that name ever. I did. You, know, you got to give people a couple names. Safarica. <laughs> Safarica. <laughs> okay. Starting with them, I know I know both of them, so don't take anything I say as in, like, it comes from knowledge of something. It doesn't. Okay. I don't know anything. Uh, same goes for who else we about to talk about. Carmelo and Lala, that's going to hurt my soul. But I'm going to find a way to defend Carmelo. No, I loved what Carmelo said. Because he's we'll black. We'll get to that. <laughs> Yo, Rory, I see where you going already. <laughs> I'm oh, chilling. man. L E. Pardon me. All right, let's get to it, goddammit. Uh, what are we saying right now? Who am I talking about? We're talking about Seferica. All right, Safari, Safari, uh, Safari apparently, allegedly, had, was texting some girl from the Love in Miami show that he used to date or whatever that he put in a couple of songs. You know how that goes. It was for content. Come on. Come on. Yeah. I'm trying to make. Try to make some records. It's, clo- it. it's closure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so Shorty put him out. She put out all the texts. She made it. She made the whole block hot. Put out the text. Said, "Yo, if you're getting married, stop talking to me. Stop communicating with me. Blah 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 blah." Uh, Erica said, "All that shit is fake." Shorty put out all the texts. I read them. Sound just like them. <laughs> <laughs> That's he how was, he texts. Yeah. You're not supposed to say Mad. that, but I, mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I want to read some of the texts. Find those texts. Find those texts. I call Safari, man. Yeah, I he's going to answer your call? Yeah. After he was a muscle-bound man trying to put his face in the sand? Yeah, there ain't no sand no more. And we's all single. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we all single. Let's he's going to join you in mall at, at, uh, at Melba's? No, 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 no. I'm not doing that. No, me, bone Crusher's fine. <laughs> we'll need him coming in here pop-locking anything. Uh, but listen, in trying to get his old work back, Damn, wrong shit. My bad. And trying to get his old work back, he took it straight to Twitter. So let's applaud. I know that method. I know the method of uh, uh, you embarrass her publicly. You apologize publicly. Mm. You really wear it all. Texas Tuesday. All right. right. Here we go. 
My man Safari says, and I quote, This is not a loss I would be able to handle. I've lost a lot before and dealt with it, but seriously, I cannot lose you. Hold on, let's stop right there. Can you do it with an accent? No. <laughs> I can't do his accent. Okay. I'm on board so far. You do have to throw in, because that's kind of like a sub, because she knows you could fi with her about all the things you've lost before. Mm. So okay. he's just throwing out that little, just a little, a little tease of like, mm. you know how much I've lost. Mm. And that's you fun. know that I've, hand, I've dealt with all of those losses. This one I wouldn't be able to. I'm on board. I got you, Rory. I've lost a lot before and dealt with it, but seriously, I cannot lose you. I have never felt so complete in my life, and that feeling will be gone if I lose you. <laughs> you are my everything, and I can't see my future without you. Please, Erica, I am sorry for any embarrassment I have brought to you for me being immature. All right, hold up. You missed the way <laughs> Erica put it down. I know, what, I know what he misses. Listen, enough is enough. I am sorry for any embarrassment I have brought to you. This is a sick record you For me right? being immature. <laughs> Maul, yeah, you so old. This is a sick ass record. Yeah, I knew right? only you would catch this. This is a sick ass record. record you All them quiet head ass <laughs> niggas. Shut up. This is my shit. I bought this. Great I, record. I had a crush on a chick. Great too. record. It's just funny that you playing this shit. I am sorry for any embarrassment I have brought to you for being immature. I apologize from the depths of my soul and heart. You are the mo you are the most important person to me in the world. I know this is a joke to some people, but this is real life and I made a mistake. I'm sorry. After this, <laughs> yo niggas love after this, yo. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> after this last I'm fuck up, up one more time. <laughs> Yo, after this. But then I'm done. I'm taking a real break. Niggas always want to take a break after the fuck up. <laughs> you got to go decompress somewhere. Yeah. That's like grown up time out. Yeah. Of the whole world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like the, it's the internet's fault. <laughs> after this, I'm taking a real break from the world of everybody's opinions and your business social media. Misery loves company out here. Locking down and recentering. Signing off. Saverica. <laughs> Don't put that there. Uh, so, uh, before you guys give your scores, did he say signing off? No, he didn't. No, say uh, signing off. he said signing off. He because I was going to influence my, my yeah, score. But he got the highest score ever. <laughs> <laughs> he put signing off. <laughs> what? Before y'all judge, wait, let me see something. Because the point I don't, well, it's a lot I don't understand. Like, it's, it's just, uh, let me see if I can find the text. Uh, do, 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 do. I don't know, I guess. It used to be the only time. Uh, um, it's always fun figuring out who's who on the text. <laughs> I think he's the white. Uh, I don't know. I, uh, I don't guess I know. That used to be the only time you would be vulnerable and melt to me. Oh, when you text, oh, yes. When you text the old work and try to reminisce with them. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my God, so far I ain't gonna lie. That's, that, that's good. That's good. Uh, now I always had my guard up because because of the things you do and say, and you prove me right. I don't. That's her. I don't even know what to think anymore. But I shouldn't even be texting you. You're soon to be married, and, and I have respect. Oh, she knew she was leaking this. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Who is that? First, yeah, first of all, Safari should have seen the screenshot in those text messages. Word. And then Safari said. I am not getting married for the thousandth, well, for the 10,000th time. Did you really say that? Yes. And, then and she who said, is this young lady? I don't fucking know. And she said, you blocked me. What the fuck? Out of nowhere. And then he said, uh, I think I changed my number. I didn't block you. It's so crazy. Hold on. I'm crying at, I, th I think, <laughs> what, <laughs> yo, I don't what, know if I changed one. I think I changed all, one. If she's still getting through your phone. You didn't change your number, number one. <laughs> yeah, I think I changed my number. What do him changing his number have to do with blocking her? <laughs> if he changed his number, she wouldn't be speaking to him. But she wouldn't even be getting through to his But phone. he would have texted her but from another number. <laughs> if she's saying, yo, you blocked me on Instagram, why is he saying, yo, my, oh, that, I thought my she number meant to block changed. the number. No, he probably meant, she probably meant block my number. Oh, yeah, that's what got I got it, got it, got it, got it. Block the number? 
All right, whatever. I think I changed my number. <laughs> I think I, you don't even know if you changed his number. <laughs> that, and that's not something you think. I, no. You yeah. know if you changed your number. It's so crazy. Wait, it's it's wait, on the phone wait, you're using. He said, I didn't block you. It's so crazy to hold it you have on me. <laughs> that was so far. You got to let nah, that he, seal for He addressed it and got right nah, back nah, into his bag. Nah, like, yo, the hold that you got on me. That ain't going to work. She, is she crazy. Said, yeah, the hold. <laughs> yo, now nah, sometimes you got to tell a chick about the hold she got on yo, you. I'm, that is I'm feeling them so far. I yo, love when shit like this yo. leaks. Just so I can know what type of bag <laughs> yeah. niggas be in. Like, yo, that's how Safari give it up. Yo, oh. I never felt like this about nobody before. <laughs> Yo, it's wild. <laughs> it's wild. It's always wild. It never, and you, and these, not, these feelings you've never felt that you felt mad wild. Times. Wait, she said. It's wild. Yeah, she did. It's all good. It's all goody, though. <laughs> she said Wait, goody? Yeah, it's all goody, though. Well, she from uptown. <laughs> he doubled back next day talking about good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I ain't, yeah, I'm not man. done. Yeah. Yeah. No. I you said it was all good. Yeah. No, no, if it's wait, all goody, wait, good morning. Wait, if it's all goody, it's good morning. That's wait, a fact. She said, what? <laughs> <laughs> she confused now. Hey, nigga, what? what is good about this morning, nigga? I ain't going to lie. He, he, he's up right now. When you leave the opponent confused a yeah, little bit, yeah. you up. Uh, okay, then, Safari, then. I see you. Uh, before I left, canceled the ring. Uh, we're not getting that shit at me today. We don't care about that. Uh, the time I came to Julian, uh, uh oh. I see a heart. Uh -oh. I see a heart. Uh oh. Uh -oh. You don't want the nigga send the heart. Uh oh. <laughs> Hold up, man. See? Wait one second. Wait one second. Wait one second. Safari in his big bag. See, that's, exa <laughs> that's exactly what they made this song for. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> yo, saying good morning off that it's yo, all goody. Yo, nigga. yo, you know what's so stupid? I'm home. My dumb ass be home trying to find, figure out a way to jazz up the good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Only you, man. <laughs> good morning, darling. <laughs> you trying to be a darling. Trying to make it more personal. Yeah, yeah. Trying to say their name. He was like, uh, <laughs> delete. <laughs> Joe, Joe definitely typed peaches. <laughs> Good morning, peaches. Peaches. Yuck. Yo, if niggas know what peaches do, more know what peaches. <laughs> I don't know no fucking peaches. You man. peaches, nigga. Shut up. I don't know no fucking peaches, nigga. Fuck Wait, out of here. More peaches? No. Yes, you nigga. are peaches. Fuck out of here. On you got your bottom. legs out like a peaches, nigga. <laughs> peaches water. Yo, you know what's funny? I still I got this down from Rory and he stopped doing it. <laughs> I know. There's a reason. You knew he would take I'm, it too I'm, far? I'm joke. I take everything too far. Way man. too far. I got nice legs, though. Don't do that. Fan, come on. Don't, don't tell me that you have nice legs. You said that like I, seven I, times with this podcast. You're very yeah. proud of your legs. Yeah. Yeah. Acknowledge it. No. No. <laughs> no, never. You wait for niggas to tell you. They yeah. be like, all right, we'll put jeans last, on that. Last week we was in here. Damn, that method man. <laughs> <laughs> he sure still has it. <laughs> But I can't get a little of my legs as I Yeah, don't tell me you have all nice right, legs. All right. Well, tell me. No, I don't want to tell you that. I'm not looking at your legs. Y'all going to have some fun in October. I can't tell y'all why yet, but okay. y'all going to have a blast okay. in all October. Right. Y all, y all, I look forward to it. Heated pool party? That's, 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 my, that's my birthday month. Y'all so. thought Joe was wild. Word, mine too. <laughs> Just wait. I got a trick for you niggas. Uh, what were we talking about? Oh, we, but not on this guy. Hold up, hold up. Back to Safari, back to Safari. I'm not done with him. Because they, they I see a heart here. Okay. He said, and they cut the messages off. I don't like when they do that. But he said, oh, wait, she said, all I can see is, you kiss me in my sleep, LOL. I thought she just had respect for a married man. Come on. Or engaged man. And then he said, but something I can't see, at me all the time when I came in June at the Airbnb. Wait, Safari I, saying this? I'll, yeah. I'll never forget it. All right, hold on, Safari. You're giving timestamps, locations, <laughs> when it <laughs> When it happened, you are well, moving wild listen, out here. man, what you want me to do? She just put a heart. Uh-oh, here we go. And then he said, do you think about it? What do you think about when you think of me? Yeah, honestly, I've never been hurt that much or let down since Nikki. I lost myself. I was looking at, yeah, you got to bring up the chick that you know the chicks look up to that you was with. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sick strategy. It works, trust me. Uh, I lost myself. I was looking in the mirror like, where am I right now? I didn't want to see or be around anyone. My friend who was there never saw me like that. He couldn't believe it either because he knew me since I was a kid. 
See, that's how you know. Safari can't even blame this on anybody because only you would say some. Yo, if you ask my friend that was there with me, he knew me since I was a kid. He never seen. <laughs> and he was like, "Yo, you mad different? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yo, my son changed. Yes. You changed yo, my son. Yo, she, she got you like that." <laughs> <laughs> That's the, front, that's the front I'm looking for him. Fucking bum ass mall You gotta wink <laughs> <laughs> Yeah nigga Fuck that Wait uh, He never saw me like that Since I was and a Maul, kid And uh, Maul seen you like that <laughs> Yeah definitely <laughs> Shit everybody seen me like that uh, <laughs> No one ever had my head like you And then she said I'm sorry <laughs> Oh <laughs> Damn but you look happy with your decision. I understand. <laughs> I understand you missed me and you saw me, but I don't think you really love me as you said you do. I think you like the idea of it all based on what happened after our convo. I hate when chicks get out of the lusty moment yeah. we was in and start yeah, telling the truth like, again. Yo, like, come on, yeah. they, come, they come out the shit. Yeah, like, yo, what are we doing? And, like, yeah. and by the way, chicks got to give up that. You just like the idea of us lying. Yeah. Like, stop uh, using that line. Yeah. And, like, yeah, I do like the idea because yeah. bitch, bitch, you ain't yeah. living up to what I thought you would. Yeah. Let's live the idea. Yeah. I'm still texting you for a reason. Like, yes, I like the idea of us. I'm like, yeah, what, what's wrong with that? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Oh, wait, I'm gonna. Oh, so now he's telling her about uh, his proposal. Okay. That's shady. You shouldn't do that. You can't tell your old. I got a violin player, a small choir, fireworks, and somebody yeah, released weird. white doves. I know you would have been like, what the fuck? This man is crazy. I really appreciate your, appreciate your apology. I mean it. I just, wanted, I just wanted you to feel the love you weren't used to. But I forgive you, and I understand. I want you to be good and happy with yourself first. I used to be miserable, and no one could make me happy. Oh, and now you know why I was in such a weird headspace and acting weird at the brunch. Because that's where I was going to do whatever, and it gets cut off. I don't care about this shit anymore. Um, <laughs> this is a wild boy, man. That's my guy. <laughs> that's my. It's a hot boy summer, my nigga. <laughs> we out here. So wait, hot boy summer. So then, Shorty do uh, uh posted a video of her breaking a whole bunch of shit in somebody's house. Roses and oh yeah, I saw that on no <laughs> on her Instagram. <laughs> hey, look at me breaking everything. Erica, yes, it was yeah. like a leaked video, and it said it's probably still on her story. And it said, I, listen, I understand so far. So Erica, bad man, she fine. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> You'd ride that? Huh? You'd ride that? Parks. <laughs> it's always right there. No, it's not. It's, it's not always, always right, right there. there. So you would go through that? For if she, if she sm- that fast, smashed we your home, home entertainment the problem system? With no, 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 no. We're saying she just smashed a bunch of shit up, and you saying, I'm fuck just, it. I'm just talking about how, how good she looks. You got it. That's all. The part I don't understand, I can't really talk about it, but this I'm going to talk about it. <laughs> when men do this, like when they step out or when they... Actually, let me defend Safari. It don't sound like he stepped out. It sound like he had a lonely night and you want to shoot some text off to a chick you used to be in love with. Mm-hmm. Newsflash, everybody's done that. Mm-hmm. Everybody has done that at some point. So my point is, what are the tolerable offenses today? <laughs> well, I think him talking about the proposal and it, that's crazy. Um, that, that's weird. That's, that's, no, that's, yeah, no, no, that's nuts. That's really that's sick. Nuts. That's super sick. <laughs> that's that's that, over the line. That's yeah. not irreconcilable. Knock it off. It, it, it could be. Yes, you're right. It should should it should Think, it be? Things change and the line changes when it's in public. Mm-hmm. Like, women will tolerate a lot of things if they're not embarrassed to the public eye. It, like, women just tolerance don't be is zero. Like, if, if, you, if you send a chick a hard eye emoji or some shit in the DMs and that ends up on the timeline, she out of there. If it's in private, she'll probably say, all right, you stupid. Don't listen, do that shit. Listen, when women get with certain men, they know that this is a man that a lot of women want or has had a lot of women, been with a lot of women. Their thing is... They just don't want to don't embarrass them. No woman wants to be embarrassed, and I think that's the bottom line. Sometimes yeah. niggas get sloppy, and then women get mad because then it's like, damn, I didn't think he was sloppy like this. I didn't think he was a clown that would do some shit like this, mm-hmm. and that's what gets women upset. And then it's hard for them to go back because it's like, nah, you a clown now. So it's like, yeah, yeah I don't want to be with a clown. I thought you was cool. Now you a combo. Well, that kind of leads me to, into my next question, or my next point rather. You make a mistake. Mm-hmm. You make a mishap, nigga slip up, like you said. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's a very common thing. 
it's also common. It seems like when that happens, the women always act like they can't. The guy has lost all his other great, amazing traits. Mm -hmm. Like, all right, Safari sent out some texts. Safari did whatever he did, fucked up, how you was talking about your marriage. I understand all that. Did he lose all the other great things about him? Well, women, that's or, how that's how they that's how they brain operates cuz they're like, "Oh, yeah, this is who you really are." Especially in that moment, like they have no interest in you being a provider, being funny, being no. quote unquote their soulmate. Like that don't matter once you see those text messages in a woman's brain. Like now not only is she embarrassed, now you was talking to her about me like this? Now that's nuts. That's where things change. So that's that's that's, 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 that's hard for a woman to come back behavior. from. Like not only did you that's, was you sloppy. But that's cheating one on one you spoke when you learned that. that yeah. That's on that's on that's on page three of the pamphlet. <laughs> it is don't tell the don't speak ill of your queen right. to the side. Know, yeah. 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 No. Don't share the business yeah. with the side. Don't like that's on page three, four, and five, right after the introduction. <laughs> In the pamphlet. <laughs> And that's what yeah. I think happened. He, and he right just, after that is she can't say a word about her either. Yeah, one hundred percent. Don't you yeah, dare no, no, speak. No. Yeah, yeah. But niggas don't know how the niggas lost that. But let me ask you something before you get into what you're about to say. Because I've seen, I've not even seen, I've been in instances where many years ago, allegedly, of course, allegedly, <laughs> all allegedly, it wasn't proven. Yeah, but where in the '90s, where niggas was keeping it all the way thorough with the side. Yo, don't speak my shorty name. You know, doing everything by the book. Mm. That don't have value to your queen. <laughs> you said it doesn't? She don't care. What you mean? She don't care about that shit you're talking about. If you tell her your side not to ever speak on your girl? Yeah, your girl only care that there's a side. No, she no, don't. no, no, no. Some girls, they care about that. Okay. Because they're like, listen, don't, she, don't, she should never hit my phone. Uh, she should never approach me. We and her have nothing. To women know when they have a man that women like. Mm -hmm. They was one of the girls that liked you like that at one point. Like all the girls wanted this dude. Yeah, but I think that changes when they like you. Some things change, but they still yeah. know that you're attractive to a lot of women. But even if women have lost that and, and don't care for that, you as a man, that's just mm -mm. that's man code. Your own morals. No, you're Control right. your situation. No, no, you're right. But I'm I'm a firm believer, and the, the same way you get them is how you lose them. So yeah, you got me because. You thought I was fly, you thought I was all right, you thought I was cool, funny, whatever, cool. Sometimes those are the things that play a part in why you lose the person. Mm -hmm. Somebody else thought those Almost things too. Almost all the times. <laughs> yeah. Which is what I'm saying. Women know that. But their thing is, okay, if, if we're together and everybody knows we're together, that we're a couple, I'm your girlfriend, you're my boyfriend, whatever. I know you got your little size that you entertain, but she should never approach your girl. She should never, and you definitely shouldn't be in no text message talking crazy about your girl to her. Like, no. Okay, no. I'm still gonna stand by. You know, maybe I'm old school. Uh, when you're engaged, there are a few, a few things that you should be able to work through. Like that word "irreconcilable" is is there mm -hmm. for a reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that means, nah, ain't nothing to talk about. <laughs> we can't work through anything. But that's all subjective. It's not. All right. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Because some women will tolerate more than others. Yeah, more, more is right. Some women. Well, I do agree with you. Like, engagement takes it to a, di a different level of workout. Like, well, yeah, we've agreed to. Everybody tolerates different things. Yeah, that's, that's, but if you're engaged and then talking about that's your engagement that, to your that, side like that, like that's crazy. I, yeah, that's crazy. That, that's because that me, can be irreconcilable. To me now, you break, you're in breaking the engagement. Period. Like now, you're speaking ill on the partner that you want to. Spend the exactly. rest of your life with, and that can be irreconcilable to some women. Like, yeah, because man, men, men, li man, listen, I, I'm gonna let you finish. I'm gonna let you finish. You're not gonna tell me. We're not gonna run around and act like we're gonna spend the rest of our lives together and make that type of commitment to each other. And we, know, let me talk to us in here. We know the game. Mm -hmm. Women may not know the game. So, shorty over there that I, I knocked her fucking head off. Eight months ago, and she loved me so much that she want to piss you off. Because that is what Erica even said. Girls know that game. Yo, you trying oh, to make me mad. That shit is doctored. That's a lot. Listen, so now it works. You leak some shit. You've made my partner mad. She done left. Her life goes on. It's only your life altered for what? For what? Women definitely. You can't make sense of that to me. You can't make sense of if you're doing the work. See, everything is for show nowadays. Like... 
Well, that's I, what I was saying with the public shit. It's all everything. It's is a just show, for show once it's public. Yeah, everything now the rules are you're, totally. You're speaking now. more to if something happens in private and she finds something in private and it's something you can talk about after anger has settled and after y'all have been away from each other for a minute and people have gathered their thoughts. It's much different in that aspect. But once that shit goes public and you're a quote kind of a public figure, yeah, you look nuts. And women don't want to look nuts at all. Like they'll they'll take looking nuts over well, staying with someone they that they want to stay Well, they with. need to start telling niggas that, hey, if I see a text between you and somebody else that I don't like, I'm taking your last name from my Instagram because that's what she did. She had his last name women, on her women, Instagram. Women, mm-hmm. women definitely know the girl that their boyfriend is fucking on the side. May not know him personally, but when they see him, that's funny. I think they they, I, I think they're always wrong about that. No, I, I'm hell with no. I, I think, think they're they, always wrong. That. I no. think they're the they're first. Never right. wrong. They're never, never right. Like, see, that's the problem with men. I think I think we try to discredit how smart women are. Oh no, we Ooh. know that they're smarter than so us. So if you're smart, they're way smarter okay, than us. So, we know that, right? So if you but know that, they're not men. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 definitely not. But what I'm saying is, a woman knows her man's type. Like, oh, your girl could be sitting right here with you. And a, a bunch of women can walk in a room. She knows you. you and know. your girl will one thousand percent know no, your type. Your type. Out of that and group. and based on the interaction, she'll know if y'all have history together. Oh, I believe that too. That's just not. That's just not addressing or uh, that's independent to anything I'm saying. All that could be true. What were we just talking about? Sides. Oh, names. all that could be true. You know how many niggas fuck the chick that's not their type. <laughs> You know how many? You know how many that's, niggas? That's the point I'm getting. You know to, how many niggas like, fuck the chick that you ain't never gonna know about? No, you're gonna, that's, be, you're gonna be beating me down about Deborah over here. That, I really have done nothing with Deborah. Deborah's a super cool love. That's you. true. She speaks highly of us both. That's true. <laughs> but Tanya but over th- here, that's that true. You have zero idea about. But that's true. <laughs> but that's because that was calculated. You did that on purpose. That wasn't by. I'm accident. not gonna get too deep into, into yeah, Joe's yeah, point yeah. there. But yeah, I'm not doing fam. that either. It's, but, it's when women bother yeah. you about the chick that you tweet or something that may pop up on the phone. Like, fit. Mm-hmm. it wouldn't pop up on the phone and I wouldn't be tweeting her. Yeah, come on. No, come I understand on, that. Come on, yeah. come on, come on. Like, stop harassing me about what's popping up on my phone. You wouldn't see it in my phone. Don't give me stuff. If you're smart. <laughs> and if you're not messy. Yes. Okay. Agreed. Yeah, it's crazy. I think Mona feels about all this. Oh, God. Love What? <laughs> Next season Can't wait Yo It's Mo- gonna be No listen Mona's a genius Mona is sitting here Asking what did I do To deserve all of these blessings <laughs> Mona Mona is a genius I said that on my Insta live being sarcastic And I got in trouble uh, But I, I really do believe That she uh, That she's a genius And part of being good I say it all the time Part of being good Is being lucky Yeah Let, yeah. Me, let me tell y'all uh, I see all of the comments About how Everybody is planning Everything For a love and hip hop Storyline Trust me, y'all give the love and hip hop writers a lot more <laughs> credit than they deserve. You will know when they wrote it. it That's true. Yeah. Yeah. It involves a brunch. You, you'll yes, a pizza place. <laughs> Drinks are thrown. Yeah, you'll 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 know. It, it involves a a, a showcase, a, a bisexual couple. I mean, uh, <laughs> your lesbian couple. Yeah. trying to. You you know when they wrote it. It's been the same thing for. I'm getting in trouble. Whatever. Fire me. <laughs> um, yeah, you'll know when they wrote it. But Mona's good, so she's lucky. So God has blessed her with uh, my private situation that I won't speak about or on that fucking show either. So I don't know what you got planned, but that ain't, that ain't happening. Uh, <laughs> we're going to get up there and start podding, guys. <laughs> uh, with this fucking uh, Safari Erica shit. Even with this shit that happened with Juju, with it, like it's just a lot. It's just a lot for somebody like Mona to work with. So we'll see. No, they gonna work yeah. with it. They gonna make this it work. It's gonna be a spicy season. <laughs> oh my spicy God. season. <laughs> <laughs> it's a spicy season. They, they gave me a call. Oh my I, God. I laughed right in that phone. I actually felt rude to the girl that called me. So uh, I understand that you just got engaged. <laughs> Get the fuck off my phone. <laughs> I laughed so God hard happened. at that phone call and I actually felt bad because it was a genuine laugh at her. And I was like, I didn't mean th- that sounded rude. I'm Don't sorry. Do that. I didn't, you shouldn't I didn't be rude and you should be proud of being rude. Don't <laughs> no, be mean I, to people. I apologized to her after. It's like, hey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to laugh that loud when you asked me that. I was just thought it was funny. Uh, I will decline. Hope you guys have a you great season. You just saw the crazy offer. <laughs> See if they bite. Mm. <laughs> I'm cool. You fucked up. No, no offer there. 
<laughs> nah, there's an offer. <laughs> Nah. What what else what else is uh no, that's a good good segue into Mellow and Lala. Our hot boy summer. <laughs> it's hot boy summer. <laughs> that's that's so hot, hot boy summer. I'm also mad at hot boy summer. I'm not. It makes me no difference. <laughs> mad at the rain. Mad at the hot boy summer. Nah, What's up with you? It makes me no difference. I'm just laughing at all of these dudes. You always laughing at somebody. Fuck out of here. <laughs> What's the last thing you did that you were embarrassed about? Tell me. Truth is truth, more. The last thing I did that I'm embarrassed about? Yeah. Mm. It's a tough one. <laughs> what was her em- name? Embarrassment. I never felt that. <laughs> y'all niggas being something y'all uncool. Y'all be embarrassed? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's something uncool. Why would I be that? I don't know. I got to think about that. I know. I, I knew that would be the answer. Come bring it back to me. No, I will. All right. Think about it. Um, all right. So this was the perfect segue into Carmelo and Lala, you said, right? Two yes. more people that I know, so I don't really know how to uh, approach this topic. <laughs> no, I thought... I've, I love Melo, man. I fuck, I love, And I love Lala. I love them both. I love them both. Uh, but it's a hot boy summer. <laughs> hot boy summer, man. I'm not going to let y'all make that. I'm on the yacht. I'm not going to make that. I'm on the yacht. I'm not going to let y'all make that. I'm on the yacht. See, and that's where... You, you go through or you take all of these precautions precautions mm-hmm. I go 90 million miles away to a third world country somewhere <laughs> I'm on via it, yacht via yacht <laughs> I got the yacht in a third world country <laughs> I got some uh, a, just a beautiful woman to, woman to look at aesthetics mm-hmm. just the aesthetics well, maybe it's her personality Ambiance. Or that. You know? Well, first of all, you ever been on a yacht alone? Not fun. No. Nah, not great. Nah, nah, I wouldn't want to do that. So, I mean, I yeah. understand that. And here comes some nosy nigga with a phone or a camera mm. <laughs> or paparazzi. <laughs> anybody. Google, Google Earth. One nigga with a phone ruined so many people's day. <laughs> Mellow addressed all that shit. I love the way he addressed it. Fuck all that. Well, of course you, you do. Oh, why, you didn't see why, it? Why, of course, nah. do I do? Yeah, what Mel say? It's, it's right on Instagram. He said, yo, normally I don't even address shit like this, fam. Yeah, that, why would you? But today, it's been so overwhelming that... There we go. Come on. Yo, Savon. I'm really since, only addressing... Ever since we came He's dawning. Back, ever since we came back from vacation, Savon, I got I to give it to you. You've been dawning. He's dawning. You've been really trying to do your job. You must see all the commenters that want your job. <laughs> Submitting resume Niggas went to Harvard I'm keeping you still <laughs> <laughs> Alright here's Mello's uh, Addressing Give it to him Rose. So I'm addressing this One time and one time only That means And I'm really only Addressing it For my family mm. Keep my family out this man Shoot you niggas I'm over here trying to do my business retreat. I'm over here trying to have a good time. I mean, I'm on the yacht. I'm on the boat with some friends. That's friends it. of mine. Them people are married, man. They ain't got. They don't got nothing to do with anything. Yeah, nothing. Come on. Y'all trying to expose. Y'all exposing somebody's wife. Y'all exposing somebody's kids. All that. Like, come on. Don't do that. Leave that alone, man. That ain't cool. We on a business retreat. Now I gotta deal with that. I gotta deal with that with my son. I gotta deal with that with my wife. You made it hot. That ain't cool, you made man. Made it hot on the block. That's not cool at all. It ain't. No. Let them people live. All them blogs that's trying to put that out there, that shit is not cool at all. It's not cool at all. Let that family be their family. I'm with, I'm with they you. married. Let them people be them people. Man, them people some real discreet yeah. people, man. Y'all yeah. put them people out there like that. They not out here in the world. They don't be in the world like that. Yeah. You can tell you fuck, I've watched this quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking my money up. That was my favorite line. They don't be out here in the world. No. <laughs> like where they be at? <laughs> <laughs> they billionaires. You don't know where they be? Different world. Not in the world. How do y'all feel about this? They're um, not trying to be out there in the world. I could understand it. I mean, we only you only get that one picture. We don't we don't have any other pictures of exactly who was on that boat. Yeah, and now Mello's a big piece of shit because it was Lala's birthday and yeah. he did a post. All Leonard a piece of shit actually. Like by default. Yeah. Okay. So now I can't be next to my business partner's wife. Yeah. <laughs> like that's what I'm saying. If we had more pictures to go, with, then I understand what Mello's saying. <clears throat> That was a really bad explanation. <laughs> no, I thought he did Why was that job. a bad explanation? I thought he did a great job. There was nobody else in the boat. We, how do we know? How that? do you know? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, you don't fucking know that. Big ass yacht. <laughs> yeah, we only got a saw corner. A corner. <laughs> oh, so you are uh, you one of them chicks. Wow. Yeah, you was one of them uh, chicks on the timeline. Joe tweeted men are trash. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Like, oh, definitely. piece of shit. How could he do this on Lala's birthday? Oh, God, look no, at the see, caption. Because I, because I totally disagree with that part. 
why he can't be on a yacht with somebody and mean every word of his post to his wife. Of course he can. But you, but you, one of those chicks Shut up. that don't think that. I'm a bad bitch, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, Maul. <laughs> Maul, we was just a. No, no, I'm just Maul saying. Said, <laughs> every time I hear that, it's just like. It's just playing mm-hmm. off of a joke, you said, because we got a podcast. I know, but hearing the guy say that is just <laughs> nasty. Right, hey, but well, sometimes I say shit on the air and then I get killed. And I'm like, hey, uh, it's a podcast. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah, stop holding on to every word I say. Are you not entertained? <laughs> They are. Are you not entertained? <laughs> That's funny. Um, all right, so y'all are saying there's people on the boat, and it was a business street, and I didn't see it. And yeah, yeah, I'm rolling. Yeah, I just hate when when any situation comes up where people can make ring jokes to Mellow. Like leave leave Mellow alone about his ring. <laughs> ring, ring, <laughs> oh, ring jokes. Oh. That's not funny. Yeah, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't think so. That's number one. Number two, you know, I, I called a few chicks and told them about themselves just because there was too much wilding. It's too much wilding on the timeline. <laughs> like, I hate, don't, chicks only band together to shit on a nigga. <laughs> Duh. I don't see that on a regular Monday. Why y'all ain't friends then? Mm. Chicks band together to shit on niggas, and when one of the girls they know is dating a popular athlete, they band together because they want the teammates. Mm. Powerful yeah. move right there. Yeah. All right. No, I understand that. Yeah, yeah. Fuck out. Fuck out of here. Uh, yeah. No, I cursed a few people out. No, stop. You don't know. No, you don't know any of anyone's business. We don't know shit about shit. Uh, privacy was invaded, and now we all just get to kill people and alter so many different lives because internet. Nah, 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 nah. That's not. That's that's not fair. I had, I had to explain prenups to a few people. And. Okay. On the internet, they act like they have zero idea what a prenup could possibly entail. But if you're familiar with a prenup at all, and the phrase it's cheaper to keep her, or you know whatever they say that, that goes along with that, you could picture a million scenarios where someone is not leaving their wife but may not necessarily be on the best terms with their wife. And I'm not saying that about Carmelo and Lala. I know nothing about them. Uh outside of whenever I see him wave hello it's a small talk but mm. uh yeah I just, I just didn't like I just didn't like people shitting on him without knowing his business her business their business also women just do dirt much better than men again I'm not specifically talking about them right women do dirt better than men so the nigga will always get caught listen Safari got caught doing some shit uh what's this next one we saw uh Carmelo no. got caught doing some shit fucking uh <laughs> not keep me out of this <laughs> I didn't look that. <laughs> I'm just saying a guy is always going to get caught doing something whatever that something may be not so much women no not so much women not so much women they're good at it the guy's going to get killed we're, we're careless <laughs> we don't we don't pay a lot of attention to shit you know what I mean we don't dig we don't do none of that we don't, we don't it's, it's against the rules we got to update the rules, too. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. We got to update. We got to update the rules. Because in a, in a breakup, like, I feel like women get to ask shit that, like, men can't ask. Absolutely. Like, yo, of who course. you fucking now? Like, well, I can't say that. <laughs> I can't ask you who you fucking after a breakup. Hey, I'm not talking about me. Don't think just because I'm broken up that I'm talking about me. I am not. I'm just saying. We need to update those rules. A lot of double standards. I don't want to know if my chick is fucking. I at that point, I don't care. At what point? If we broken That's up. Call call if if we broken up. Oh. Yeah. I just said men are different. Yeah, I don't give a fuck though. I would never ask you who you fucking. I don't care. Well, when was the last time you were embarrassed? Honestly. <laughs> I'm gonna answer that. I'm gonna get back to that. You always want to get back to something. Nah, I am. I'm gonna yeah. figure that out. It might have been something stupid though. <laughs> Molly O'Wan and You don't wanna know? If we broken up? Fuck, I don't care. Hey. What bars you would give this? Uh <laughs> and, uh, and I'm not on. letting Maul just get that off. If we broken up, I don't care. I don't. Maul's a liar. The moment you break up, I, I, Maul, Maul everything is, I don't care. If we're anymore. broken up. You My think feelings I, I are care out. About who she's fucking? Yes. I don't give a fuck. Yes. Yes. Bro, I'm different, man. I don't give a fuck about yes. shit like that. I don't care who these chicks are you fucking if they're not me, with, my, with what, my girl. You ask me what we think. Y'all crazy if y'all think I give a fuck. I'm crazy. <laughs> I definitely don't give a fuck. All right, the first week. 
Fam, that's different. I'm set. You if said she's it. Fucking I'm, a nigga the first week y'all break up, then that's like that's, right. what, uh, that's what he was saying. First month. Yeah, same thing. Love don't work month, like that. I don't give a fuck. It, yeah, of course you a give week? a fuck. No, you give a fuck a in a crazy. month. Yes, you, you do. Give a month, a I really don't care. Come, I if you a loved month. a woman and y'all I break up. I don't give a fuck, bro. All right, got it. I don't care. I got it, bro. I don't give a fuck. I'm not saying you're going to wild out and yell about it. I'm not no, saying that. I'm just saying I don't, I don't give don't a fuck care. about that. I don't. If we're not together, like we got to stop acting like because we dated somebody. You're about to give me like, rules to feelings. Like now they're not allowed to. There are rules to feelings, though. Like you're about just to like get... if a girl walking here right now and you want her number, but then she gives me the number, you can't get mad at her for giving me the number. Yes, you can. <laughs> you a clown, <laughs> nigga. That's something you got to deal with yourself. Okay, you are clowns. Yeah, but that's and what I'm saying. I'm that's not one of those guys. I'm I don't not give a fuck. Run up on her and all that shit, make a scene. But you gonna feel something like? Nah, man. You can't. We dog. There's too many humans in this world, man. Just because you had a moment in Everything time with Maul somebody, like, sound good on paper. I'm just I'm telling, telling you, he is an on paper king. Fam, no, it's just with that niggas. No commitment. Fam, it's just it. that niggas. Be, he's niggas not be, wrong. Of course, he's not wrong. Niggas just be too tied. Y'all are broken niggas, up. Niggas be too tied in because if they dated a chick, they feel like, oh, you can't do this. You can't. You can't put no restrictions on how much you're not together. I'm not, I, see, now you're changing the whole thing. Of course, I'm not putting restrictions. Talking about how how you just feel like feel. And I'm saying, me personally, if I broke with my girl, we we haven't been together in a month. I don't care who she's sleeping with. I don't yeah, give a fuck. Long, what if you didn't want the long, relationship? Wait, no. How long were you with the girl? It doesn't matter how long. Ago. Oh, it does. I'm just saying I don't give a fuck. <laughs> if we're not together, we're not together. I got it. I got if it. If you're not together, you're not together, bro. This I understand where you're coming from, but cool I think you're wrong. cigarettes, nah, man. You can't do that. Cool like that and, and that's how niggas end up doing. <laughs> that's how and the niggas end up stalking and doing shit. It's like you look stupid. What are you doing? Nah, y'all not together. Nah, I'm stalking off the rip. Nah, you can't do that. Yeah, I'm not agreeing with that. Oh, and I shouldn't say that. I'm kidding. <laughs> Psych your mind. <laughs> stalking is fun sometimes. Not real life stalking, but like play play stalk. Like, oh, I see okay. you. Okay, play play uh, stalking. I see you. You gonna see some uh, real real uh, shit and then do some oh, dumb oh, dumb oh, shit. Oh, do some real real time. You gonna oh. do some real real time? Oh, look, look, play play. Look at you going in Walgreens. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> what you need? Yeah. What you need from Walgreens, girl? <laughs> Plan B. <laughs> Now you gotta shoot the wall. Yeah, <laughs> Maul, you broke up with your chick. It's been a month. You stalking her. You see her going in. <laughs> you see her going in Walgreens. I'm not stalking. You follow her in there. She goes yeah. straight to the Plan B segment section. Yo, I need to. I need you to bust this gate. I need three of these. <laughs> what, three. You think, what you What you thinking? No, nah, you're taking the Jesus chain off. I, I'm thinking she needs to start using protection. <laughs> three fucking Plan B bills. What if she, she was getting them like just in case? Like, I'm just want to be prepared for the, the stash, vacation. Stash. <laughs> just in case plan B. Let me ask y'all something. That's let, let, got let me, yo, if you just got the plan B. Oh, let me ask y'all something. You never know when you need a plan B. What, yeah. what, what, what would y'all do? If what? If, if, the, if y'all was in that situation. Oh, I've done it. <laughs> You've seen your girl getting plan B pills? Your ex girl? Oh, no, more well, not that situation. What, <laughs> That's what I'm what saying. What do you think? I'm a fucking creep? That's what no. I'm saying. Now, you just asked me that, so I'm asking you. If you was in that situation, what would you do? Oh, I'm going to Walgreens. And you see your, your ex girl buying three Plan B no, pills. No, I said I'm going inside of the store. Uh huh. And you see her buying three Plan B pills. What do you do? What you the feds? I'm asking you. You <laughs> asked me. I know, but I'm not going to answer publicly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you off mic in okay. private uh, what I would do, okay. and I don't know what I would do. I would <laughs> tap her and show her work. <laughs> yeah, maybe I try to be funny yeah, about it. Yeah, come on. <laughs> like, oh, you nasty. <laughs> yo, I want to tell you something. something. Yo, no. hey, soon I'm going to turn this market. Don't, 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 don't want to tell me. Don't, I don't want to know. I don't, I don't want to know. I do oh, not want to know. Man. Yeah, I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> and Maul if you're buying Maul, three yeah, Plan B's at one on. time, Maul was I don't want to know. I'm definitely tapping you on the shoulder and like, wow. <laughs> give me one, two. Three. Wow, <laughs> no, not give me one, two. <laughs> That's super petty. <laughs> She's like, can I have three? 95. <laughs> 96 of these. Wild Friday. Oh, <laughs> they was giving it up. <laughs> they, they was giving it up. They. Yeah. Mm. Uh, all right. What else are we talking about? Uh, let's give a round of applause to, to Meek, man. Ah, uh, yes, he beat Maul to the lids bag. <laughs> you and all your fancy upside down logos. They can have that lids bag. Mm. Congratulations to Meek, another big business deal. I don't know if it's big because the details are not announced. I assume it to be big. I'm sure. Because I don't think you would have done shit for something small, not at this point. 
Now we live. You ever seen Meek and Fleet? You don't, you don't even wear hats. This nigga don't wear hats. <laughs> That's what I was he's, thinking. He's worn snapbacks. I never seen O'Malley in a hat either. Now I think about it. I ain't seen one dream chaser in a hat. How I've they, seen Meek in a hat. How they con- I've never seen Meek in a hat. How they finagle that one up? I can tell you. <laughs> Why wouldn't they just dug them niggas? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hey, yo, yo, give me all this. <laughs> sent yo, we need a hat deal. <laughs> and we want it now. <laughs> right, right now. Congratula- congratulations to me. What does the hat deal consist of? Hats. Well, no, he, he, I think he <laughs> bought you, ownership Bart. of the whole company. Your contribution here should not go unnoticed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he cut the t-shirt deal. Yeah, least. no, it's, it's not like he got a hat deal. He bought, uh, I think, shares of Lid's company, if uh, it's public, <laughs> or just is, has a percentage of it. No, he didn't. They just gave it to him. <laughs> Or they just gave it to me. Meek woke up one morning in Philly like, Lids. That's the, <laughs> that's the stock. <laughs> no. And they fucking stepped in O'Malley and he said. He was at, uh, what's the mall in South oh, Jersey? O'Malley went there strapped up. <laughs> and they said, Here, take the shares. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what What mall are you talking about, Rory? The big mall. Uh, Cherry. I don't go to that mall. Okay. I, I had to see mall. Uh, <laughs> Meek just shopping, <laughs> looking at stores. That's the one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The lids. I want to see his lid. His lid. Because he got to have like a, gonna be a d- custom doing some design for him. Well, that's hey, my thing. Think so? I, I think lids could use that. Because mm-hmm. I think lids, of course, is like the popular. Let me just grab a hat real quick. But they don't do cool shit. Yeah. If I just want a basic Yankee, I'll go into lids. Like right. do some new shit, revamp it, do some shit that's only available for a week, do some cool shit that Maul has with his hats. Like do something Turn different. Turn everything upside down. Yeah, print five and say sold out. Yeah. <laughs> Get a raffle. Yeah. We have the little tricks, goddammit. <laughs> no, everything they do with sneakers, do with hats, with loots. Like, make it different. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, don't worry about it. I'm going to help them out. Mm. I got you. Me, give me a call. Me, give me a call. That's nice. Oh, that was great. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> For a Saturday. <laughs> organic pod. <laughs> really organic here. Did you guys watch the uh, Democratic debate? I did. I saw the debate. Did you? I did. I saw both. Who dropped the fire? Kamala. Who had the bars? Kamala Harris. Strictly? She no killed. One else, no one else clapped back? Yo, I, I know f- Bernie had some I fire. I fucking hate the debates. I, I know love. Bernie came with some fire. Bernie be tight, man. He be fired Sam, up. Sam, Bernie be... What's up with Bernie? It's... Bernie's trying to tell he us that the end is level. near and no one's listening to Word. him. And he's right. <laughs> no, let me Guys, say, let me, it's let, me over. let me let me start with that. When Bernie get up, <laughs> but this when is he why, get worked up, but this, <laughs> when <laughs> he's always he's won. never chilling. <laughs> Fam, they was asking him happy questions. Like at some point, at about forty minutes into the broadcast, they tried to get uh, they tried to make us feel better about things, and he didn't get that memo. <laughs> Not at all, Bernie. Give us one thing that you're happy about in the country. The banks are buying everything. We're all dead. (laughs) How can happiness be real as long as Trump is in the office? You know what? I'll be happy when we get the courage and the balls to attack the military, the financial district, Wall Street, the government, uh, the CFO, oil, the farm, the climate. When we get the courage, but Bernie, that to stay on top. When we get that, like, <laughs> gotta Bernie. love Bernie, man. Bernie was in his bag. Yeah, hey, gotta love Bernie. Bernie, he's was, fighting that fight, boy. Uh, fan, I agreed with him. I was like, I'm, nah, I'm not voting for him. <laughs> you making me angry. <laughs> you, you up there preaching too much truth, and now I'm that, and now I'm mad about it. And then the other nigga I'm waiting to hear from, they won't even let poor poor Andrew talk. He couldn't even get a word in. No, the se- the second one was fucking mayhem. The first one was like really nice when they were in Miami or whatever. Really nice. Everyone like let everyone speak. Like, oh, you're gonna speak Spanish this time? Okay, you go. <laughs> like, it was really nice. The second one was a fucking brawl. Is there a third or is that it? I, I mean, there'll be another one. I'm, once they start chopping well, people down, yeah. I'm sure it'll get to one. But there's so many candidates at this point that yeah. I had to And this, this is, was inappropriate to say last night, but I'll say it here around my immature friends. Like, nobody going to tell Lester Holt to just cut, it, cut all his hair off. <laughs> <laughs> just let it go. Did y'all see Lester Holt? I did. Honestly, for I, did you really get yes, his? Yes, yeah. He's hanging on my back. television. Why is he still doing that? He's hanging, he's hanging <laughs> off. No, <laughs> that shit is here. Sorry, he holding on. And they did the slow uh, revolt state of the culture zoom in on him, and he body and shit. I'm like, uh, 
Just go bald. <laughs> That's all you was thinking? Just cut it all off. That's nah, it. No, nah, his shit is all the way back. <laughs> Biden, Biden was up there talking about the Obama administration for 45 minutes. He I'll be honest to... with you. Biden didn't do too well. He looked like yesterday. shit. He looked horrible. It, it, his, but, he looked but the horrible. Way, he sounded horrible. I started following him on Twitter after uh, he announced, and yeah, it's like he sounded horrible. Yeah. He did, but the way he couldn't even memorize what they wrote for him. Yeah. The like, way the way like the that. news loves Biden, they're gonna keep him. They're of gonna keep him up there. Like the Democratic he'll be fine. Party's gonna fuck it up by but pushing he, him. He the sounded like shit Hillary. yesterday. I mean, I hate all the debates because it's they ask you a question, no one ever answers the question. They just do what's scripted and the keywords: Trump, immigrants, like and all the things they lying. know that the left they're is not going to do any of these of things. Of course well, not. Well, well, Bernie interrupted and said that. You know, nothing will change. <laughs> <laughs> they asked him, Bernie, yeah. how do you think things are going to change? It's not. No. <laughs> nothing will ever change. All we're doing is talking and meeting. Unless there's some action. And there hasn't been action in 90 years. So we're going to die. So I'm like, the world well, needs that. I man. mean, he's right. I'm with yeah. Bernie. I guess yeah. I'll go with a realistic he's, uh, guy. Absolutely right. Yeah, the only one not full of shit. I'm with Bernie, man. But no, yeah. those, those debates, they're tough to get through sometimes. Because you're just looking at fucking 25 people that are all full of shit. Right. It's it's tough. Come on. People just don't. She was on pe- point though. Kamala people just killed it. She killed. She killed. I, I saw that She reaction. was. No, she definitely was. And I enjoyed a lot of, a she, lot of she her She stole the show. Play. She stole the show. I don't doubt it. Who Kamala was a plant. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> <laughs> and listen, and hopefully you're not getting your political bit news from us. <laughs> of course not. I hope. Kamala was yeah. a plant. So, all right, right Mom. I said, I said what y'all was thinking. I said it. <laughs> yes. Yo, I feel like for every topic, Maul just chimes in like, what it do, baby? <laughs> I, sh- I should start. <laughs> no. Oh, Get in my Kawhi bag. Uh, relax. Don't, don't do that. Uh, Rory, what else, what else happened that we need to touch on? Pause. Uh, let's see what, what else is left here. Um, oh, right before we started recording, we got this little gem. Uh, have you guys heard of Vestivil Festival in Germany? Vestibule? Oh, I, used to, I used to have a vestibule. Yeah, shoot you up in the apartment in building vestibule. <laughs> I always wanted a Vespa. Yo. That's like the little motorcycles. Oh, right? yeah, that's nice. Oh, you gave me all the vests. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Yes, you did, Maul. did not. Own I have it. all your vests. Now that I think about it, it own it, Maul. This Vestivil shit is a music festival, and you should be offended that you were not booked on the Vestivil stage. Yeah. he's probably. I the, would feel away. His likeness is probably back there. It's like, no, no, I was a surprise guest to pump it up. <laughs> I was going to You're gonna get a crunk? <laughs> Unless they came to get it on. Oh, that's true. Oh. Would there be some hypnotic somewhere? Hypnotic. <laughs> okay, anyways. <laughs> this is a festival in Germany that's for three days. They offer you uh sweets. Uh, they have really good chocolate over there. Oh, let me call the dog sitter now. <laughs> They offer you uh, sweets. They offer you. You got Tootsie Rolls. They got some exceptional chocolate over there. <laughs> sweets, villas, like the whole Namine, the way Firefest did. Mm. Get all that shit for three days, but you're in Germany now. Like, mm. why you want to be on an island? Like, come rock with us in Germany. That's a fact. Germany's a fun country. And there's Tony Romo's there. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm going to read you guys Added off. Bonus. Uh, I mean, yeah, fuck. I'm going to read you guys off some, some of the we acts. Tony Romo's. <laughs> I get excited still. <laughs> sure. He would. <laughs> nah, they honey barbecue wings different. Don't do that. They honey barbecue <laughs> wings are different. Uh, see, Joe, Joe can't say that, but Rick Ross could tell you about lemon pepper for 30 years. Yeah. They just ain't eating honey exactly. barbecue wings no more. Wait, huh? Who still eats honey barbecue oh, I'll wings? I'll eat a honey barbecue. I, I do. Wait, yo, wait. <laughs> Uh, do they even still yo, sell you, out? You have hung out with Jay Z for way I'm, too long. I, I don't even know. <laughs> yo, do, you they, have to stop. Yes. do they still sell we out? Off he off that. Yeah, he off everything. I haven't seen a honey barbecue wing in years. <laughs> Wait, that's because they shut down. What's that shit in the Bronx right there? They shut down for y'all. No. KFC. Yeah. KF, uh, they open all of the city still. Uh, yeah, KFC was the only yeah, spot the that Bronx I knew about the honey was barbecue. Up there shooting and shit by X Bar. No, it's still, it's still a BBQs on Parsons. I'll take you. No, thank you. Oh, I had some good nights in X Bar. And those ain't even honey barbecue at BBQ though. They just like honey, right? They don't put barbecue on that. No, nah, those are honey. Yeah, honey I thought barbecue it was like wings. just sticky wings or whatever they call it. They got oh, all that shit. Honey that's barbecue. honey barbecue. <laughs> it's, I didn't know it was bar. I thought it was just honey. Half barbecue. chicken, roasted Learned white meat. New every day. Get a, ain't no get barbecue. Get the big ass drink. There ain't no barbecue. Come on, you never did a, a date at BBQs. Fan. <laughs> are you kidding me? The one on third. <laughs> oh, Parks, you the original one. We was making our own barbecue wings, right? Yeah, we, we were making our own sauce. Honey, honey barbecue joints. We were just freestyling. Yeah, that was. shit was great, though. It, we bodied that shit. I wish we remembered the recipe because that came out real good. Yeah. We fucked it up. That's funny. We should do that again one time. I'm definitely done. 
<laughs> nah, niggas got you. Got, y'all got girlfriends now, so y'all won't do cool shit like that. She came to that. No, shit. that would be like the thing. That's yeah. the thing you do with. Did girlfriends. I have a girlfriend here? Uh, no. Don't name it. I'm not gonna. Thank you. No, name her. You had a friend. I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Vestaville. <laughs> this was the lineup that they had projected for Friday through Sunday. I'm just gonna read off just the bigger names, not the whole festival. Okay. Uh, Friday, we're starting out with ASAP Rocky, Trey Songs, Gigs, Steflon Don, Jack Queese. You know, just the light low Friday, get everyone ready. They got to check into their villas, all right. that type shit. You right. know, regular. Right. Saturday, we'll give it to them. We'll do Migos, Jason Derulo, Lil Pump, Lil Skies. Not uh, Big Pump. Nah, nah. Big Pump, nah, he wasn't on here. Okay. Ja Rule and Ashanti, Drew Hill, DeVito. Light shit on a Saturday. Light. Sunday, we're going to give them Cardi B, Future, Meek Mill, Tory Lanez, Nicky Jam. I don't know who that is. Sorry. Are they ready for Reggaeton. this? Reggaeton. Uh, Lil Baby, and the list continues. Yeah, I don't know if they're ready for all that fire. That's crazy. That's, a cra- that's like a super summer jam. So, yeah, you, you would book your villa at, <laughs> yeah. at Vista Villa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For sure. They you would good fly out Germany or that shit. No problem. Yeah. I'll feed her soon. You would think. Mm, plot twist. Until you get to the fairgrounds, <laughs> and there's about seven stages. It was a fairground? And no music, <laughs> and no artist except for Jacquees. Oh, it's lit. You know he was showing up. <laughs> yeah, he was just covering everybody's song. Yeah, he brought all fucking Jason <laughs> that's what, beats. No, yeah. actually, they just booked that's him. What, and was no, like, you didn't read the fine record. print. Jack Weiss was going to do everyone's everybody. songs oh, for three songs days. Songs performed, produced, mixed, <laughs> and arranged <laughs> by Jack Weiss and Dreezy. For three straight days. <laughs> so, uh... Yo, Jacquees on stage covering songs for three straight days. <laughs> of oh, every one of those oh, artists. Man, oh, I would kill for that. I would go. I'm definitely going. <laughs> I'm going. I'm about and I get to say, say no laughing, villain, I would go to that. I'm going with a tent. <laughs> I'm going with that. I'm sleeping there. I better not hear an ounce of quiet. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why I don't hear you doing the Beatles? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Shit. I can't hear you doing the Beatles. Yeah, Do the you, Nicky Jam joint. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, come on. Hey, when Dub's crying. <laughs> <laughs> he like a little live jukebox. Hey, yo. Imagine, hey, do pump it up, nigga. <laughs> Sing that and imagine shit. looking at the set list like, all right, he's going to do his Ooh. little baby shit. I'm going to use the bathroom. I'm going to wait till he does oh, his Cardi shit. B set. Uh, Jacquees <laughs> might mean jukebox in French now that I think about it. Uh, 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 we gonna, that might be jukebox in French. It's true. It's Jacquees. Jacquees. Oh, Jacquees. Jacques, okay. Jacques. <laughs> yeah, Jacques. Jukebox in French, oh. nigga. He got, he got he's a genius. Like, but I got, he's a, he's you know a genius. He, you know he's a genius when he tried to close out the set with his songs. All right, I'm going to give you some of mine now. <laughs> no, you know. No, 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 no. You better give us another cover, goddammit. Come on, Temptations. <laughs> my girl, my girl. <laughs> I got sunshot. You punch, yeah. you punching in numbers like karaoke? Yeah. No, I did my two drink minimum. Come on. <laughs> punch my number in. <laughs> Come on, Jacquees. I bought my drinks. That's a sick ass show right there. So none of the artists showed up, period, yeah, except I, for Jacquees. Wait, I hate them. I hate when you go to the comedy club where it's a two drink minimum, but you was good off the one drink. Now when the check come, they try to make you get the other drink. Now nah, you got another drink. Now nah, I'm cool. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm, I'm you have to give me that drink. Uh, fine for the night. Two. I've never had that problem. I've had the problem with the opposite where they're like, no, I want to keep drinking. And they're like, no, it's a two drink. Yeah, that's it. That's no, it. It's Yo, only for this show. Parked old roommate scarred him so bad. <laughs> <laughs> So they're saying that this this promo. They're <laughs> saying that this. Yo, this, if y'all laugh when I'm funny, other people will think I'm funny. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all don't do it, so it's like that, that is how it works too. That's yeah, the funny. Oh yeah, like, y'all know it. Y'all get yeah. quiet on purpose when I make it funny. No, <laughs> so, yeah. so I didn't. I, didn't, I didn't never. Uh, about, saying, I never knew about it. the roommate. That's all I couldn't. Yeah, really I, didn't, I didn't either. Is the funny part? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't know about Park's roommate? No. I never knew Park's yeah, roommate. Yeah, which one? I, don't know. Anyway, I didn't know. I couldn't laugh with you. My yeah, bad. I could be wrong. I couldn't. Either. It's fine. <laughs> talk about Rem? What are you talking about? Who's his no, roommate? I'll see. My cat. <laughs> chairs? Talk about chairs? <laughs> Jersey. No, I'm not. Well, they're saying this this fire fest type trailer <laughs> is we're also a long time with this festival. <laughs> <laughs> no, they got a fake Cardi B to do the. 
Wait, is that really her? Shut up. They're saying this is not her. That's definitely not her. <laughs> oh, these niggas are sick. <laughs> you thought I was gonna let this slide? Oh no, these niggas are <laughs> sick. <laughs> Destavillas are the perfect addition to the festival experience. <laughs> 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 no, they trying to throw the. They trying to throw the. Did you hear the? The Destavillas family. No, what is it? It is. That was you. Oh shit, it's complex. Oh, oh fuck. I gotta go get those Destavillas. Yo. Yo, fam. Yo, what are they doing? Why don't they get your vest Whose cousin is that? I see why. I, I see why Cardi don't want no press. Look what they do to the press. That's what I'm saying. Did you hear her little laugh? It was like. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear the little? It just sound like a. <laughs> I'm only laughing because I'm around y'all. If I was at home and peep, peep that. You like, I'm going? Oh, me can't do best of all. Nothing but pretty ladies. <laughs> <laughs> That's how her voice was sounding. <laughs> like, Keep. <laughs> Book it, Dano. <laughs> I'm out. Tony Romans and Vestaville. <laughs> Jacquees. <Wait. laughs> and Jacquees singing everything. <laughs> Wait. No, that's jo- that's a lineup Wait. for Joe. So you mean to tell me I get honey hickory wings and Jacque jukebox jukebox <laughs> Jacque's jukebox request on demand? <laughs> what? Holy shit. I can do Temptations back to back. Hey, that's like when you get the VIP at Great Adventure and they let you get the front car and the roller coaster back to back. Everybody else be mad. <laughs> I would definitely order <laughs> Temptations twice with Jacques. He would be the heat. Oh, my God, sunshine. On a cloud. <laughs> I'd be in the crowd. Burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it. Holy shit. I'm going on. Man, barbecue sauce in your face. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed the fuck out of that meal. He up there sweating. Dreezy texting him. Yeah, yeah, where you at? Shit. He ignoring her. Oh man, what else I'll make that nigga do? <laughs> <laughs> now he got it to hit me with some you got it bad too. <laughs> you gonna make him do Usher? Yeah. You gotta dance too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he has no problem doing that. He'll get it to his bag. Oh, oh yo, make a jump do you got it bad and, and dance while I'm eating honey hickory wings in a tent. <laughs> in Germany. <laughs> in Germany. <laughs> This is great. Watch yourself, cartoon nigga. Don't play. <laughs> I ain't playing with you. I'm the only one coming here telling stories every week, goddammit. Holy shit. That's pretty funny. Come on, Warrior. Right. I ain't gonna lie, that day in Vegas festival sounds lit, though. It and, does. It, it, and it is legit. I, I, I do. Yeah, I, a lot I of it's kind of sick. Yeah, that I want to do. Oh, is that yeah, the one with sh- everybody? Like, like like everyone, Leopard, everyone on Earth. Migos. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, okay. With Cole as like a side act. Yeah. 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 That Travis Scott, crazy. Kendrick. Yeah, yeah. Cole get festival money to come drag a stool out there and sit down. <laughs> hey, give and me it's five, great. five grand. I'm going to sit down right here and let you hear this song that you got. <laughs> About losing my virginity. <laughs> I don't ever want to at the festival hear how Cole lost his virginity. <laughs> what if, it's what, coming. What if he's still a virgin? <laughs> he has a child. <laughs> so, what that mean? AC <laughs> Green had a kid. <laughs> All right. Niggas comparing Cole to AC Green now. Yeah. It's time to wrap up. We got sleepers. Where's our sleepers at? <laughs> yeah. It's time to go. Yo, AC, no, no wonder AC Green was such a lockdown defender. <laughs> Get your finger out my ass <laughs> You horny fuck Alright yo listen Nah I'm I, not letting y'all do that wait. to AC No 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 no, 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 no. How, how no. can I score the ball It was your finger in my ass Fam Do we have sleep No Man. shit You know no, what I'll no go shit. first oh, First team all defense <laughs> I'll go first Hey get your, fu- <laughs> get your tongue off my nipple I'm trying to grab a rebound Yo you know what <laughs> oh my god. Yo, what the uh, fuck? <laughs> no kidding, you're a lockdown yeah, defender. Yeah, yeah. You're the only nigga in the 80s couldn't get pussy with a jerry curl. <laughs> like, think about this. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> 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 he was on Sons, too, right? 
He was on the side. You know, you know he used to be. You know, his shit talk used to be di- hot out here, boy. <laughs> Fam. Right. I can't let y'all do this. You can be like that. <laughs> He's a good guy. Mm. <laughs> you sweating under the sun, ain't you? <laughs> Mad freaky boy lines. I'm right. trying to box him out. <laughs> Never mind. <sighs> All right. Was that safe to say any of that stuff? Yeah, yeah we're fine. safe. Everything is fine. <laughs> that is a good way to decent my up, though. <laughs> Everything is fine. All right. Uh, well, the Knicks are getting no one since we're on basketball talk. <laughs> Segway King. <laughs> I'm trying to get us out of this. <laughs> they, we're AC Green at now. That the Knicks will give him a max. That, that move still works. You <laughs> is still a lock. He's still a lockdown defender. <laughs> Fifty-eight. Yeah. Nah, when they got rid of the hand check, AC was like, "I'm out." <laughs> no, when the, he's like, "I'm out." When they got rid of the shorter shorts. Oh, fuck. see, <laughs> see, it's like, hey, he will come back like, "Whoa, these are long." <laughs> Saw the Fab Five was like, Mm-mm. <laughs> Mm-mm. "Not for me." Y'all are sick, man. Can we play AC sleep? Green did nothing to nobody. <laughs> Can we play sleepers? We can. The funny thing we were talking about, I was trying to talk about Cole being a virgin. I don't know how I let the... Uh, yeah, like AC just caught a straight. Like. <laughs> that's fucked up. I fuck with AC too. <laughs> After all of that, <laughs> that's fucked up. Holy shit. I'm a lockdown defender. <laughs> that's gross. He really put the clamps on. <laughs> all right. I think we're punned out. Get it. <laughs> Rory, you got a sleeper, man. <laughs> Get us out of here. I'm trying to find a sleeper. I forgot to pick one. All right, so let's see. <laughs> um, good show today, fellas. Look at that. We really feel like, oh, we missed each other. What's up, Ma? What are we doing tonight? <laughs> this Joe is crazy. Why am I crazy? Because I'm a hot boy summer, man. Friend. It's not a hot boy summer. Sure, it is. it's hot right now. That's true. It is hot. And you guys are boys. <laughs> Smash Brothers. <laughs> All right, fuck it. <laughs> uh, Rory, say something. <laughs> Rory, say something. <laughs> not not, not, not going to get something. a rhyme off to end this uh, to end this podcast. That's your job. No, no, I'm looking for my our our song so I can get back to it here. What are you looking That's for? The it. song. Uh, uh, me. No, it, I think it's titled wrong. Oh, I'll get back to my shit. All right. God damn it. Rory didn't say anything when I told him to say something. <laughs> he, he just commented on how fucked, up, out. how fucked up I was moving over here. Yeah. Uh, good podcast. We didn't even talk about the 4th of July next week, but that's oh, sure, fine yeah. because we'll be out again. Yeah, Homeboy, I came to party. Oh, so the Nets did give Russell the. Okay. I didn't know that. What happened? Nets give Russell qualifying offer. What does that mean about this Kyrie stuff? Tell me off of the air. Listen, had an amazing time. Uh, remember, uh, life is a series of moments and moments pass. So let's make this one last as if it's all that we have. Remember, do it for reflection, not perception. And that chick is not fine. She's just young. Important lesson right there. Where That's, you got that little bum ass line from? It's important today. Today she'll still that, be fine, ain't young. That's not true. Shit. That's not true. Okay. The young, the young chicks is young, so that's why you fine, cause you young. Y'all not working out. Y'all ain't doing shit. You just young. We was all fine, young. Most of us. Get older and be fine. <laughs> what? <laughs> she's still fine if she young. No, she's not. She's just young. You ain't never fell down in your life. Ain't got a bruise on your leg nowhere. Your fucking skin look a certain way. You don't get bags under your eye when you don't sleep. You can take. You can take no care of yourself at all that's and be true. fine when you're young. Hell no. I right, know some my... young girls that's not fine. Well, I'm doing the outro here. See, you, <laughs> made, you, made, the, you made the song fucking go off. Bitch ass <laughs> <laughs> and get out the Bronx. Hey, and, and I told you you can't do the outro no more. Let I didn't. Do, I'm, just, I'm just. But we're not trying right, to bad. continue to. Po- I'm ending it. Okay. Keep your disagreement to yourself. Take it to <laughs> you, Bigs. Y'all talk about that shit later. Right. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, yeah, she's fucking young. Like I said, fuck this nigga. Uh, <clears throat> until next time. Peace, adios, arrivederci, hasta la vista, so long, goodbye, bye. Oh my God.
No, 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 no,